Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, out there. <laughs> Welcome to Erpa Skirnament of Champions Purdcast, uh, where we take our fa- our personal favorites in gaming today uh, and TV and movies. You know, we reveal our top tens, put them in a tournament and have them fight each other, you know, via debate and until there's a winner. But we're not really doing that at the year, end of the year. We're just doing our top tens because who ain't nobody got time for that. Um, yeah. And yeah. today we're talking about most anticipated, like the games we can't fucking wait to come out next year. Um, at least they're announced for next year. Hopefully they, a lot of these keep their release dates or windows. Verdict's still out on a lot of these, but you know what, whatever. We're being hopeful. This is a hopeful list. Yeah, I'm probably going to laugh at a lot of you guys. Like, oh yeah, you're real wishful there, guys. Yeah, good. all right. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And, you know, this is episode, what is this, 50? I think we're on 50 now. Jesus. So we might as well bring some new toys. Or 40, it's 40. Um, so we might as well bring some new toys, in, including like, you know, some, uh, I got a fart mm-hmm. sound mm-hmm. now. I got an air horn. Oh man, that um, sounds really good. <laughs> I'm yeah, sure you can I'm, totally uh, hear it. It's yeah. coming in and like crisp uh, sound on my yeah. end. So. You can definitely tell it's at uh, that high bit rate too. Holy yeah. shit. Uh, it's so good. Y'all are going to love it when you hear it back. <laughs> I'm sure we will. Uh, <laughs> to, to peek behind the window for everybody, we're still on Skype, so they can't hear what I'm playing. <laughs> uh, it's going to be rich. Killing that immersion. All right, cool. Um, but this new software, it's going to be, it's pretty much just a digital soundboard and everybody uploads their, their sound to it, their their own individual tracks to it automatically. And beep, it's going to so fucking enrich this experience for everybody. All right. So 2018 games, top 10 only. Um, this week, the order is JD, oh then Kyle, then me. In my head, I knew y'all were going to be like, let's not the guy that doesn't know shit about games go first. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> It kind of, it's just luck, honestly, but uh, <laughs> yes, also, I would have planned it that it, way. Of course. Of course. Um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> My number one is fucking, is there a Call of Duty coming out? Oh, yeah. I love yeah, that I want that one. Put love Madden at number squeakers. two. Mm. Madden 2K19. They oh. still making them Bass Pro Hunters? I want one. I want to do that. <laughs> What about one of the games where you hold the fake plastic fishing rod and you go and you you fish that way? Do they got a new one of them coming out this year? They ever make one of them Duck Dynasty games? (laughs) (laughs) Which they did. They did do that. Yeah, I'm sure they did. Oh, yeah. That's 100% a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, wow. Uh, So, yeah, we're going to start with JD at his number 10. And just a reminder to everybody, pushing is a thing. So if, if one of us has something lower... Then another one, we're just going to push it later on so we can talk about the game at the same time instead of repeating ourselves. So am so, I never going right, to push cool. it again? Uh, you might not. I mean, I'll, I'll play it, but you won't hear it. <laughs> That's great. It's the highlight of my day you just took from me. That's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, and it's like a literally a 10 second clip and it's the same text. 10 seconds. It's not even 10 seconds. It's like, a, it's like push it, push it or whatever. And then it ends. <laughs> whatever. Y- y'all will hear it. It's fine. Look forward to that, everybody. On top of the farts. Uh, all right, so <laughs> this is gonna be so rich when y'all hear it. Oh, it's gonna be good. We got so many jokes. All right, cool. Um, so first up is JD with his number ten. Cool. A uh, li- little, little bit of a reach for me. No surprise. Uh, the bottom of these gaming lists always might be. Um, I put. It's a follow up to a, f- a favorite of mine from the original Wii console. Um, it's called Travis Strikes Again. No more heroes. Y'all heard about uh, yeah, this? Yeah, very much so. Not familiar at all. all. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, the original was, in, in my opinion, one of the best early um, third-party Wii games to to capitalize on the the control so. aspect of it with the the remote controls. Basically, Jeff, you're um, you're a are you an assassin going for vengeance? It's kind of like, a, it's kinda like a, Kill Bill. No, no, you're a you're a Kotaku nerd yeah. who wins a lightsaber yeah. on an eBay like thing, and yeah. you become an assassin. And you work your way up the assassins list by like killing them, right? Like, so the if you're like the number thirteenth seed assassin and you killed number ten, now you're number ten. You know, right? It's and so, so cool. So, so you're just climbing up the ladder, and yeah, it's like a it's a a laser blade. So yeah. it's like a lightsaber, but it's actually shaped like a katana. Yeah. Um. It was so much fun because you're. I mean, all, all the moves and everything correlate to actual motion. So you actually have to stand up and get into it and do like you look like one of those idiots doing like Jedi moves in the garage and oh, shit. Yeah. But you're you're at home. So oh, and you're for, you're forgetting uh, the best part to recharge your lightsaber. You have to jerk it off. 
Yeah, you got. It gets a little shake weighty there. It gets a little <laughs> shake weighty. So you're sitting so there in your was, living room going, "Oh, I'm gonna fucking jerk! I'm gonna get you so hard!" You know. <laughs> yeah, not a game for your mom to walk in on you uh, playing. Very awkward. I mean, unless she's already caught you doing the real thing before, then it's like, oh, Jesus! Really? Dude, after that, the the right, fucking this again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all no um, surprises after one, that. I was really happy to see that this was on the docket because that was one of my like. I don't think I'll ever sell that game. I'll always hang on to my original copy, the original No More Heroes. So, uh, hoping to get a switch so, and so what's cool try this about shit out, this man. game is it's a collection of mini games made by six prolific, huge like indie developers right now. One of which is like Hotline Miami's developer and stuff like that. Uh, and this should lead up to like the next actual big Travis touchdown uh cool. game or whatever <laughs> that's his name jeff travis yeah, touchdown. Travis. it's touchdown. so fucking stupid it's so american it, it's like it, i think that's what they really think of like though. americans like or wait, what's a good american yeah. name like ben smith no travis mm-hmm. touchdown you know like <laughs> let's fucking name that <laughs> i remember a game that you chose like in your top 10 no 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 no. it was a game we were reviewing we were reviewing like e3 on uh, when we did the old podcast that doesn't exist mm-hmm. and um I think there was a game that was like um, uh, heavy, heavy. I, I'm just making shit up now. It's just literally like heavy, solid, heavy, <laughs> solid metal. Uh, I'm, just, yeah. I'm making a, pr- a play on words for Metal Gear uh-huh. Solid, but they do a lot of play on words. Uh, uh, but yeah, it was just like a yeah. bunch of words just exactly. thrown together that sounded well, it just, cool. It feels like, like they, heavy. they'll get like. Part they'll two. Get, it feels like the they'll get like a wheel of English whatever. words and just throw darts at, like throw six darts at the wheel. I go, that's the name of the game. Sometimes, like I swear to God, yeah, it'll there be like go. Resonance of Fate. That's how I came up with my first band's yeah. name. <laughs> yeah, and I'm I'm over here like. Sorry, I just played that. I thought this was America bit. All right. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were setting it up. You were setting it up. I was. I telegraphed that a little bit. Okay, uh, but that's a that's that's. I'm glad you included something that was like. I don't know what it is. Kyle knows what no. it is, but I, I don't think it's on his list. Otherwise, we pushed it. Yeah, super cool. And I mean, but that's really I, cool. Know, it's one that is actually like possible for me, so I had to at least include it on the list because I don't have any other Nintendo games on my <clears> list. When you said laser blade, I thought of dodgeball. By the way, <laughs> laser blazer <laughs> blade <laughs> blazer. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love that movie, dude. Um, so, good. so next up is Kyle's number 10. Oh, uh, my number 10 is a game I've been talking about on this podcast for a while. It's it's good old Sea of Thieves. Ooh, push that just Ooh, a little that bit. Is a, uh, push it. That's We're going to push it a little bit? Just a little bit. Okay, push it a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. Just a little push. No, it's fine. Uh, I hope everybody likes Salt and Pepper a little bit. Because All right, cool. Um, so uh, that brings me to my number 10. Uh, which is kind of a cheat. It should be disqualified, but it is a remake, and it's one Cheater. I'm pretty hyped about. It's Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, okay. Uh, we are. Oh, never mind. We're not pushing that. Never mind. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. We got bumped. Sorry. <laughs> we are. Is that a push? Nope. That's not a push. Nope. Th- 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 uh, we're gonna. We're gonna get a push. Uh, no, no, no. I feel like Chris Katan. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like does a three point. <laughs> question. Question. Anybody? Question. Am I pushing? Am I pushing? <laughs> Uh, but Shadow of the Colossus is, is uh, it technically should be disqualified, I guess, if we went by our traditional rules of like, why would we put a remake on here? But this feels like a totally different uh, game because it's two generations away from the original. I will, I will say um, how right and wrong you are. It's actually the exact same game, frame to frame, rebuilt from the ground up. Yeah. So like, it's literally a right. brand new game okay. that's like exactly the same in every way. If that makes sense, I don't know. It's just like yeah. the whole. The, it just the looks engine good. is <laughs> look, the engine good. is completely <laughs> different. They didn't reuse a single asset other than the story in the uh, storyboard. So, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I I just I'm mostly pumped because I've heard so much buzz about this game, and I, only way One too of the late. Greats. Like only in the past year, this game came up for me. Like in the past year, I heard somebody going, "That's one of the best one games of the ever," and I'm like, yeah. "What the fuck is that?" PS2 game. Uh, yeah, I'm not oh, going to play it now. Go it's not going to hold up for me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> PS2 games just have a hard I just have a hard time connecting with those games I'm just like I can't believe you fucking know, played this yeah. all the time <laughs> uh, but yeah I'm super thrilled that it's getting a remake and I'm sure fans of this game are hyped too uh, so yeah that's why I made my list personally um, uh, it was on my list is any, any... it was on my list for a while oh, yeah, it was? It was. oh okay so it's an honorable mention yeah then, it was an honorable mention for, for me um Nice. Really, really pumped for this game. We're getting it. You know, and you're going to realize real quick that I think every single one of my top 10 come out in the first four months of the year. Oh, wow. So it's, fucking, it's, a, it's a brutal 
opening. Yeah, I'm not happy. I'm not like happy February and March like, are really heavy, right? It's super heavy. Yeah, and I, with one, mm-hmm. I think it is probably going to be more in the May area, and hopefully, we'll all be at the top of our list. But uh, yeah. we'll see. <laughs> um, uh, Shadow of the Colossus, though, man, it was on my list for a while. Uh, this is one that I never beat from start to finish, but I've like I know oh. the entire like game. I know all the story beats. Uh, um, you yeah, know, I, it's I a game I never too. owned, you know, but like it's a game that I helped, like I beat with a friend over at his house and stuff like that. I really enjoy this game. Really excited to actually sit down and play it for myself. Uh, Team Ico has always been a studio that's eluded me, even with like Last Guardian, like when it finally came out, I go, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna play that. <laughs> Yeah, it's I just, never got uh, to it either, even though I was intrigued just, by it. If I yeah, can sure, that me too. It, the, yeah. But after hearing, it's just like, yeah, it's just environmental puzzles. I'm like, yeah, I'm not into that. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> just like the first game. Um, I think it's called Ico, which is what what they get their name from. Team Ico. Uh, it's just a puzzle game where like you go through and you're holding like mm-hmm. a girl's hand the entire game, and then you do a puzzle. And then you redo the entire puzzle with the girl that you left behind. And I'm like, no, this is a, this is a game That's, where you just do every puzzle oof. twice. Like, fuck this game. <laughs> like, <laughs> where a lot of people are entranced by that stuff. But for me, it, I'm just stupid, man. Yeah. You know, if um, I like thinking games, but I like thinking about certain things. And usually it's not puzzles. <laughs> like, yeah, and Shadow of the Colossus is a thinking game, but it's it not is, and yeah, and it's a puzzle. My understanding. It's a puzzle in the sense of like, how am I going to get on and up this thing to kill it and hit its weak spot? That's a puzzle in its own way, but it's a puzzle that I can wrap my head around more. So um, yes, yeah. yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, I'll agree with that because puzzle. I played my fair share of puzzle games. Uh, like quadrilateral cowboy is definitely something that I just watch other YouTube videos to figure yeah. that shit out, basically. And then uh, you know, there's other games like uh, the the. The Turing test is a recent one, but there's another game I'm trying to think of. Talus Principle, yeah. that one, uh, where you're like moving a, th- a thing to unlock doors and you only have so many little things that jam I w- the doors. I, I don't I would have really never, confusing. But I would have never beaten game Portal and, unless I had a buddy that carried me <clears throat> through that entire game through the co-op mode. So <laughs> See, yeah, those are just I'm too, just stupid. I'm stupid, man. I don't know how to talk. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the explanation. I'm just I'm kind of an idiot. Man, so. I love those games so I do too. Much. I just I love God, being carried games. them. Because it makes me feel smart. I'm riding on the coattails of somebody else's <laughs> smartness, you know? I'd be I'd be happy right. to carry you one day, man. I would do it. I, so you we're, have uh, my sword. That's it for my number 10 for me. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm good without, you know, I'm, I'm good cool. on this title. So uh, number nine for JD. Cool. Uh, well, I, I pushed it from earlier. It's Sea of Thieves for me because uh, oh, okay. pirates. That's, I mean, we're synchronized then. Y'all and synchronized. that was Kyle's number 10. Nice. So good. we can... We can talk about yeah, it. Uh, all right. was a slight push, I'll yeah. defer to y'all because y'all probably know more. Like it was literally just, oh, pirates. That looks good. And I heard Kyle talk about it. And I watched the trailer a couple times and it looks yeah. really fucking engaging. This game. I mean, that is the extent of it too. Like yeah, it's just it's, time. It's, like, pirates. it's, uh, it's so I mean, jolly. Pirates. It's, it's, and it's a, it's a service game, which uh, people are of, of many minds of right now. But this is the type of service game that I like where they give you a game. And it's yeah. very like vanilla at first. And then all year until the end of time. They're just going to build Minecraft. It's Minecraft, you know, like, hmm. oh, now, now there's new like shovels and new swords and we entered new enemies into like, it's just like my, like, they're going to update it like that, like a service, you know, so you buy it cool. once and you get all these like really like a, a Leviathan's not going to be in the game at the very beginning, but maybe at the six month mark, they're going to put Leviathan's in the sea so that you're not only worried about you know, like ships and people, you're worried about sea monsters and shit like that now. Yeah. Uh, so like, uh, that's what I'm re- really most excited about with this game. And it's just playing with buddies, you know, like this game looks so jolly. Yeah. Um, and uh, it just looks really, really fucking fun. Um, it does look like it relies on maybe you having a crew and stuff like that, which may be a hindrance. Oh, uh, yeah. Which... 100% like the Ghost Recon yeah, Wildlands. Yeah, abs- absolutely. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you're going to want a crew yeah. and you're probably not going to want to play with randos. Uh, even if you enjoy playing with randos, you're probably not going to want to, you know? Uh, but uh, I yeah. don't know. It looks like a game that uh, I'm going to sink a lot of time into. And it just looks like a game that, like, it will be really easy for everyone to get on and play and, like, have some drinks yeah. and have a good time without really having to accomplish much. It's like, what did you do last night? I don't know. We sailed around on my boat and we played sea shanties and drank in real life. Like, that's literally all we did all night. <laughs> that's I it. think we, we, <laughs> that's literally we got the game is your pirates. Treasure chest and we just found it, you know, and that's really nothing fucking crazy, you know. Mm-hmm. But in the next time, it's like. And yeah. then somebody sunk our ship and we had to go yeah, find and another one. When you die, one, you turn into a ghost, you know, like you, and you're in the ghost, you're in the ghost oh, world and you awesome. have to like reclaim your body. It's cool, man. This game looks really cool, man. And like you can drink and go to taverns and pick up missions and. Um, you know, like yeah. e- everything is a working element in this game. Uh, they're swashbuckling, they're shooting. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very pumped. Yeah. 
I like the idea of it being a service game like you were yeah, talking about. Yeah, me too. That's, that's actually, that actually works <clears throat> in its favor for me because at, on the surface of it, it's like you're saying, it's literally just a fun, easy to pick yeah. up game. But, you know, for people that want more than that, you know, you're going to have more content over time, which I can appreciate. Right. Like Fortnite from this year. I was playing that game all of July and all of August, pretty much nonstop for two months. Mm-hmm. Uh, I jumped back into it like just a couple nights ago. The game is completely different. <laughs> Holy shit, really? We're four or five months later and it's just like, what the fuck is this? You know, like it's just <laughs> in, a, in a good way, like in a very yeah. good way. They've added a lot of great stuff, you know. Yeah, uh, and it so, should be evolving because it is. They're, they're. I guess they're still considering it early access because when they are it does considering release, it, even though it's been on PC free. for two years already. So you know, it's yeah. just like you know whatever that means. But you know, the big surprise is that this game's coming out in March. Like we thought we were getting maybe an alpha in January. Uh, we're getting the game in March. <laughs> Cool. So, oh yeah, I've been on the technical, not technical tests, uh, testing. I guess it is alpha, yeah. whatever. Uh, I've been on the email threads for that like for a long time, and I just never played it because I was like, I don't want to cheapen my yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah, and, I and, and play it's, the full that's product. cool and everything. But those things are so selective. Like I couldn't just jump in and get into mm-hmm. that thing. I tried, I didn't get accepted. Uh, you know, so it's just like it's they're. They kept telling me to come. You and asshole, I was like, you got good. my invitation. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, you know, so it's just, it's, it's, there hasn't even been a wide test yet. And I don't even know if we're going to get one. Like, the game's just going to come out, and that's very exciting to me. Um, it's rare. They make quality yeah. games. Uh, I just, I'm not worried about this one. You know, just as, it's not one I'm worried about, like, dipping in quality once it comes out. It's not worried about, I'm not worried about it. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm not worried about it at all. One more time, and I'll believe you. Movie. No, just, all right, you mind. just played something. Super bad. <laughs> no, it's super bad. I was literally quoting super bad. Oh, I thought you were setting up a sound. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, when she's like, I heard you're going to different colleges. She's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not worried. He goes, I'm, I'm not worried about it. I wouldn't worry, <laughs> I'm about, not it. worry about it. I'm not worried about it at all. <laughs> <laughs> he says it like three times. It's like, of course you fucking are. All right. All right. Um, so that was uh, JD and mine. That was our number nine. Um, and Kyle's number 10. So Kyle, you're number nine. I don't know. It feels like it's going to get pushed, but it's Far Cry 5. Oh, it's not on my list. Not on my oh, list. good. Good. Oh, well, we can talk about it then. Cool. Um, yeah, uh, Far Cry 5. Uh, I'm really excited for this game. Um, this is the one that they look like they're changing everything about this game, which is uh, which is awesome because the last couple have been pretty big carbon copies of each other. Right. Uh, and yeah. I really... I, I still enjoy them, but yeah. Me too. I yeah, agree. they're very fun. But like, you know, I was ready for the formula to change. And I guess it made it more of a stink that like, all of Far Cry stuff bled into every other Ubisoft game, which made everything annoying. So it's just like, now I'm climbing towers and synchronizing and every fucking Ubisoft game. I'm just like, you know, killing animals and making pouches out of them. And I, it just, it, 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 it dwelled on me. You know, it, uh, it, it started to annoy me after a while. But Far Cry 5 looks really different. And I really, I'm really excited about the story. Like, they're going to go after something that's going to, like, really get them in trouble, I think, here. I think a lot of people are going to be really mad about like the story. It's going to be really, it already is really polarizing, but that's what they kind of go with. I mean, every single one of their games has had kind of like a controversy leading up to launch or whatever. Um, Like pagan men and stuff like that. Uh, I forget what the big controversy uh, in four was surrounding him, but people were like, we don't like that. And I'm like, this is stupid. Like I always am. Um, (laughs) And this one is hitting way close to home. You know, it's about like, uh, you know, no. ravenous churches and stuff like that uh, that are, um, you know, arming up and militarizing themselves and took over an entire town. And you're going to help, like, take the town back. Uh, and the entire game is from start to finish co-op, which is my favorite thing in the entire world. And it could almost it could almost supersede right. everything on this list because now you're telling me, hey, Kyle, you're going to get to play a 35 hour shooting game that's open world like Skyrim with a friend from start to finish. Open credits, end credits. Oh, great. Fuck yeah. yeah no. That's all. How many games can you do that in? None. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm very excited about that. So I had to, I had to squeak it on my list. You and I will be definitely playing that together. Oh, totally. I only didn't include it because yeah, it's Far Cry. I like it. Of course yeah. I'm excited. But I don't know. There were just other games that I was like, felt like uh, I could get more out of conversationally. That was the only reason I didn't put it on the list. Yeah. Even though I'm pretty hyped for it. And it's coming out in March. Another March fucking March, release. March, baby. To ruin our goddamn calendars. Yeah, they, um, I like how they pushed it back from February to March just to be like, yeah, we're just going to really fuck you guys up. <laughs> okay, thanks. I yeah, appreciate that. And then the developers for, um, what's that game? Nino, Nino Kuni? Nino Kuni. Push it. Oh, are we not talking about it right now? Okay. Oh. No, they were like, they saw what, they saw that Far Cry was being pushed and they were like, 
Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah we want in on that action. Yeah. Uh, they, <laughs> uh, I just want to remind everybody, they were pushed from November. So it was, this game was already supposed to be out. We already would have beaten it by now. Not we as in you, because come on. But like we as in like yeah. the people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought this was America. Uh, yeah. So... <laughs> So yeah, uh, you know, uh, this game is just, um, they're taking their time with it, which is good, but like, uh, March, really? Go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to, when you talked about it being an offensive storyline, I forgot to play the offended uh, the offended sound from uh, Community. Oh. Okay, okay, I just did I was it. just okay. I was just right, watching um, Community, uh, where, uh, what's his face, um, Chevy Chase's character is like reading um, Jeff's mind or whatever. He's like, oh, gay, super gay. Ooh, gay, 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 gay. thoughts, <laughs> super gay thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, it's actually, it's no, it's so offensive. So I'm going to play the offensive so, yeah, sound one more time. That's super offensive. Just to be safe. Well, that's what made me think about it is, is offensive, so. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, so my number nine was Sea of Thieves. So that brings us back to uh, JD's number eight. Cool. <laughs> Um, this is this is where I plugged in my uh, this this would have been my first on men if uh, the dreams of my original number one had been allowed, but apparently they're not allowed because no, there's You're no crazy. hope for that game next You're year. You're so I'm funny. A, You're so I'm funny. I'm a fucking idiot. You're like I hope that Kojima game comes out this year. <laughs> I know, no, right? Just, on, just all casual. <laughs> that game just shit. started getting developed like a month ago. <laughs> we'll yeah. be uh, yeah, we'll be retired when that comes out. My list <laughs> is uh, not based on any research whatsoever. It's literally just I like that trailer. That looks yeah. really good. And Kyle will be able to talk about all these games better than me. So that's how this episode's gonna go. That's good. Uh, but I threw I did throw Anthem in there as my number eight. Um, just oh, that's a push, dude. We're pushing. Okay, cool, that. cool. I, yeah. I like oh, it. Yeah. It's just, the reason I left it off my list was because it's gonna it's an Xbox game, and there's no chance of me ever getting. Uh, Xbox. I chopped like, that game off my list, and we'll get to that later. Okay. You you don't have it in your no, list. I chopped that game off my list, and we'll get to it whenever oh. we get to it. No. it I'm still okay. pumped for it, God. but like, yeah, I gotta pump the brakes a little bit too. So. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it probably won't get released. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Sure. It's fine. I'm okay with that. Whatever. They just like cancel it without Jade Empire, and I'm like, I'm go- I'm good with that. That's fine. That's all I really wanted. Thanks, Bioware. Because I did put, I did put like in my list last year. I put like you know Crackdown Three, Sea of Thieves. So like, I mean, I'm obviously I'm gonna repeat myself next year too. I know. Whatever. Yeah. Fucking happens. <laughs> uh, but uh, that brings us to Kyle's number eight. Uh, my number eight is definitely getting pushed because we talked about it off uh, screen. It's a way out. Oh, cool. Uh, slight push. Yeah, slight push for me. Slight push. We're getting the yeah. slight push. All right. Yeah. Um, so my number eight is Vampire. Mm, yeah, I wish I could. Be, oh man, I'm so glad it's on your list. Let me just say that. <laughs> Thank you so much. I chose Yay! I put Far Cry over Vampire on this, but really, I'm more excited for Vampire. I just you yeah, know. yeah. Well, you and I have talked about we've we've dished about this game like pretty pretty hard on uh, the last few episodes. Whenever this title came <laughs> up on E3, or if it, if it was a most anticipated episode or some shit like yeah, that. Another, another yeah, another another November a, release, by the way. We should have been playing this game already, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, you know, whatever. Fuck it. I'll put it on my list again. Yeah, right. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> it was definitely on our list last year. I know. <laughs> yeah, and I know we talked about it then for fucking sure. Uh, but uh, but Vampire is just, uh, I mean, there's not really much more to add on top of what we've already said, but just to recap for people, you play a vampire detective, right? You're a detective or a PI or something? Not kind of. Are... I mean, like, you're a doctor, so, like... Oh, you're a doctor. Yeah. There and there's like a flu or a pandemic or whatever. Yeah, exactly. It's and the like time of the really, black plague. really, it's like a time where you could thrive off of, but your Hippocratic oath is yes. keeping you from, you know, killing people. Yeah, killing yeah. people. I hate exactly. it when my Hippocratic oath I know, just gets in the right? way of my murders. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst. It drives me fucking. Crazy. I am a doctor. You guys know this, right? Yeah, I just want to just uh, you know like stab people with for. my teeth. Yeah, John Doctor. Yeah, John Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be something if you were like Dr. John, Dr. Ed? It would make any fucking sense. Oh my God. Well, I want, I know I wanted to name you after my the name occupation is Dr. I wanted doctor. you to have the rest of your life. It's, it's, and, and if I go to a doctor, then it's doctor's doctor patient confidentiality or some shit. I don't know. It gets, it gets it real gets muddy. Really muddy it, yeah. It's very difficult. <laughs> and then they're like, wait, why are we referring you by, by your middle name? That's really weird. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> Vampire is really intriguing because it lives in the same world as, uh, you know, it, not in the same world, but like in, in, in terms of the mechanics, it has the same things going for it like Life is Strange does or a yeah. Telltale game. But it also your has decisions com- like to kill combat mechanics or, and stuff too. It has what? Like combat mechanics and stuff like that too. Like it has like Oh yeah, yeah it does. It's got yeah. like full on gameplay, unlike Life is Strange. So it's like 
yeah. man, they really are making a game now. Not that like, man, I hate it when people say that like Life is Strange games aren't like games or whatever, but like you're, right. there's actual gameplay now. You're actually killing things and doing stuff now. You're fighting stuff. Yeah, I mean, and you, and there is that in Life is Strange too, but I know what you mean. Like they, they want to actually like do things yeah. that affect their environment more. Right aggressively than just walking around you and opening a this door. Game. There's not quick time events, you know, like it right. turns into, you know, like an action game at some points. Exactly. And the action, uh, in the Gothic look of it and everything kind of reminds me of, uh, those games. I never played dark souls and blood. Sure. Yeah. Well, it looks <laughs> to like Bloodborne an extent. A lot. Looks like dark Bloodborne souls is like, fun. You know? Yeah. Fun is not a word I would describe. That's yeah, okay. <laughs> it's work. It's work. <laughs> It's work. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You got to get paid to play that game. Yeah. I like I like pain, you know. So Me I'm, too. I'm just a, I I'm feel a you there, man. So, I feel yeah. you there. Uh, but yeah, I'm super hyped for Vampire. I don't really have much more to add to what we've said before in previous episodes. If you guys want to go find them, I'm sure they're out there. Um, I'm sure they're in the tags for the episodes or something. I don't know. But super excited. I want to go suck the blood of hobos yeah uh, i'm totally gonna kill people's like uh drunk husbands and stuff like that like where it's like well he was uh you know killing him killed his family because he you know was right you know working seven jobs and that's why he was a drunk asshole and it's just like well you know at least a drunk asshole's (laughs) dead you know (laughs) (laughs) right (laughs) all right so that is my number eight and then we're now we're on uh, jd's number seven oh shit um do, do we sync on this is this is this gonna be a way out for both of us that's for me and you. Wow, yeah, you guys are out. just nice. like two peas yeah. in a pod over here. And we didn't we didn't I'm even share our list man. this time like at all. So this is No, this yeah. Is I didn't I was going to earlier with my list out of sequence just to be like here's some title ideas, yeah. but uh yeah, decided against it. I don't know why. Just to keep things threat fresh with an air horn. But yeah, man, uh, how fucking fun does this game look? Like that's yeah. after all my late night research, that's the one that I really woke up thinking about. Um uh, I mean, who gives away a game? Basically, that's what they're doing. Yeah, you can buy I it, mean, and your friend has the, access to it. The guy it, was so trying to say that to uh, at the game awards, but uh, just couldn't get yeah. it out for whatever reason. He, <laughs> had, other, he had other things on <laughs> his Fuck mind. The Oscars I guess, is so. what he did say. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, man, yeah. The, but what I'm trying to say is, I know EA's in deep shit. <laughs> And fuck the Oscars. <laughs> but what also I'm really trying game. to say, wait, wait, wait. But my... what I'm really trying to say is, <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I love his. I, I mean, you can't deny, you can't deny or uh, not respect the dude's like passion. Uh, like, yeah. I mean, he may be my favorite person in the industry right now. So yeah, uh, yeah. If, if anything, that just like shot him up into the stratosphere of cool. You yeah, know? it's just. Right. I, I mean, content creators are all about providing that to the people, and yeah, you know, I I, I respect anybody that's not necessarily is focused more on the experience than the money grab aspect of it for sure. And you're still gonna make money, like. And this oh, is yeah. the same guy who did Brothers: A Tale of Two Souls, which a t- Tale of yes. Two Sons, excuse me, which Jeff and I really like. Uh, hey, uh, JD, yeah. you want to cry during a game? Go play that game. Oh sweet! Uh, oh, and by the, the way, not a single awesome. word is ever spoken. So try and what? figure that out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's like Sims talk, where it's like, <laughs> yeah. Everything's everything's implied, <laughs> but you fucking get it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Man, that's intriguing. Uh, very, very, very beautiful game. Uh, and uh, if we're gonna be expecting expecting that level of storytelling, but this time with words and actual cinematic shots and yeah. like this this game's a movie you know like it's shot like a movie yeah. it, it's directed like a movie it's shawshank it's the shawshank movie. the movie it's and then off. like the game and then everything yeah. after too <laughs> after he gets out of jail also you know like right, uh yeah. um it turns into the fugitive you know like it's uh it's gonna be really really good and the fact that like you were you were saying jd that like uh you boot up the game and you're like kyle get on real quick oh i don't have the game because i'm some right. blah, blah, blah. you're like i got you uh, and yeah, I just turn exactly. on my system. You, you, I don't know exactly what the specifications are of how you share stuff, but like theoretically, I should just be able to start playing with you from from us yeah, two you states just away be and join just be game fine, or something. You know? uh, now, is this going to be on PC or is it console? Um, I, PS4 is what I'm. Yeah, I think it's coming okay. on everything. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. Now, oh, can okay. I can I on my PC play with somebody that's on a console? Probably not. That that's not yet? a probably thing not. Yet, Okay. Damn. Sony may. Xbox One does that, but it's only for Windows 10, if that makes sense. Oh, whatever. Like if you get I, Cuphead, for example, this year, I bought it on my Xbox One. I downloaded it to my PC and played it um, because Windows 10 supports that. And 4 is the same way. Yeah, exactly. Like Vinny, basically Windows exclusives allow. Actually, yeah. So I'm sorry. Xbox exclusives only do that. It's uh, yeah. 
uh, quote unquote exclusives, I should say. But uh, <laughs> so never mind. You can't do that for a way out. That's already universal for all all consoles and PC. Yeah. Um, I mean, I would have no problem forking out cash to play that with two different people, uh, you know, for the game, you know, like PS4 and PC. I don't give a shit because this game looks like it's going to speak to me. Yeah. Well, and like on a different level. The thing about it is, is like it's not really a game where you're you're choosing what you would choose. Like they said that during uh, playtesting that like most people got into the roles of the characters they were playing. So one is getting out of prison because he has a daughter and he wants to make sure his family is safe and stuff like that. And the other guy's just kind of a psychopath, you know? Right, so it's right. just like, so you kind of play into those characters, you know? So like, let's say like you're being stuck up or whatever, and maybe there's a non-combative way to get out of the situation. Maybe the guy who's playing the psychopath guy just interrupts the conversation and shoots the guy in the face, you know? And like that, and now you have to live with that and you have to kind of carry on with that. I don't know how far reaching consequences are or anything like that, but I think that's cool that you naturally start playing to your character. Uh, so right. that kind of will want you to maybe replay it again. Like, oh, cool, Jeff, uh, now you're going to play the goody two-shoes and I'm going to play the jackass now, you know? Yeah, like, I would definitely have to play it as both because they're two, from what I saw, two totally different experiences. Not yeah. just the personalities, but just what like, you're doing. one of you is in a cut scene, the other one's still breaking out of jail. And Yeah. I mean, it's, it's yeah. two different games. It's not like normal co-op where you're sharing the exact same experience. It all is the, the time. most. Uh, it is the most split screeniest game. Yeah. that's and the entire yeah. the out entire ever, game because you're, you're regardless split far away from yeah, each other. Yeah, right. the entire game, regardless if you're playing online or split screen co- couch co op, the game is always split screen. So you're always seeing what the other person is yeah. doing. Um, you know, so you can always kind of take a peek at like, so what are you doing? I'm hiding in like a pile of clothes. Like, what are you doing right now, Jeff? Are you lollygagging? And you're oh no, you're over there talking to <laughs> trying to get matches or whatever. Corner, yeah, man. trying to find hold a way on. out. Yeah, freedom <laughs> yeah. can wait. Uh, so yeah, trying to find cool. a way yeah, out. Get it. get it, get it. Uh, uh, you got it. Uh, you got it. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I played the dr- the drums. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 uh, all right. Uh, that was um, JD and I's number seven. Kyle, what's your number seven? Uh, cue up our uh, year. I thought this was America because it's a little Nino Cooney to Revenant Kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just played it. You're good. Uh, man. <laughs> oh wait, uh, it's talk- a push. Just kidding. <laughs> it can't be. Yes, it's impossible. It's not. Sorry. There's no, no way. No, you're good. Yeah, there's no way. Um, uh, <laughs> this is just a this is a Miyazaki uh, movie. Miyazaki being Princess Mononoke, Ponyo, all those other fucking you know. I didn't know that dude. Is that a dude? Did uh, you know games? He did. He didn't until Nino Kuni. This is this is the only thing he's ever done. Oh wow! Yeah, Holy shit. yeah. Okay. Uh, so um, I don't believe the studio was as involved with this one as the first game, but like they really kind of set the foundation of the first game and carried it on. Really, really, really touching story. Um, you know, I imagine this one's going to be kind of follow suit. Uh, I we just don't get a lot of big JRPGs like this anymore. A lot of those things exist like on 3DS and handhelds and stuff like that. Like you just don't get like these gigantic experience anymore. We got Persona last year. That was like. Mm-hmm. this year i guess uh but that was like that's the only like really big like n- quote unquote mainstream jrpg to come out uh you know and uh, this will be the big one next year so I'm, I'm pretty excited for it um i know you guys are just clamoring uh to get your hands on it um, oh, totally yep. yeah day one, this, yeah, day one. <laughs> calling in sick uh yeah yeah so we'll <laughs> we'll see what it all shakes out i thought this was going to be the very first game i was playing next year i was very excited for that uh it's not going to be so <laughs> uh, I, think, I honestly don't even think i have anything on a plan to get in January. Uh, it'll probably just be a catch It'll up be Monster for Hunter for me uh, in January. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be picking that up for sure. I know I'll hate myself with that game, so I'm just not going to um, You should, you should have <laughs> played the beta. You might you might like it. I don't know if you'd hate it or not. You mean Monster Hunter yeah, World? Yeah. Man, that looks fun. Yeah, it's an on-men yeah, for me. Yeah, it was an on-men for me as well. Oh, nice. um, you know, it just it seems like everybody and their mom's going to be playing that game, so it's going to be one that's going to be easy to jump in to, to a party with and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it, moving out of January is great because uh, that's my big camping month. So see ya. Goodbye. I don't need, I don't, I gotta have time to do other stuff. You know, so. <laughs> All right, cool. So that was your number seven. My number seven was a way out. So now we're back to JD at number six. Damn. Um, man, that's uh, I'm digging these pirate games. It's probably too much, but I put skull and bones at my number six. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Don't... That's not even uh, yeah. an honorable mention for me. Sorry. Yeah, Sorry. I mean, Is that the you know, uh, ship only pirate, pirate game fans? That's that's the one where at the very end of the trailer the kraken comes out from underneath, and that's all I remembered mm. really. It's and so isn't I was it? Like, it's I'm a Ubisoft, this it's one a Ubisoft game, right? I think so. Yeah, I think it's 
it's pretty much like the black flag mechanic. It's of just the like game. it's just the ship stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So look, I'm not saying it deserved it. I just wanted pirates on my list, and so I put two pirate <laughs> games. Okay. Here's pirate six. Hello. Elizabeth. All right. Sorry. I didn't mean to go full pirates. <laughs> Never go full pirates. <laughs> but yeah, people are are pretty hyped about that game. Uh, I remember Kyle and I were in this gaming group, and like uh, E three did uh, at E three Ubisoft did their presentation, showed this game, and people were more positive than Kyle and I were. We were just kind of like, yeah, oh, all right, you know, because um, it kind of looked like, like wait, so you can't get off the ships ever? And they're like, no. I'm like, well, then no. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? See, I didn't do any research into the gameplay yeah. or anything. Which you know, why would anybody do research into a gameplay when you're talking about playing video games? That I know just that's so that's fucking just silly. Silly. That's such a rage. But yeah, um, I just like my my favorite part about being being a pirate is being a pirate. Like the ship part is cool, but like yeah. I want yeah. the sword, I want the gun, yeah. you know, I want that yeah. stuff. Uh, the this sea game shanties, looks, especially. This game looks beautiful, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, it yeah, is. That's what uh, struck yeah. me for sure. Very, very beautiful. And the, the ship fighting mechanics in Black Flag is some of the best parts of that game. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, like, why not make a whole game out of right, that? Right. Uh, I miss it in the new Assassin's Creed. Like, I know there are parts in the new Assassin's Creed where you can, like, do ship combat or whatever. But it's just not the same. And I'm like, oh, I miss it. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, damn sure not going to get far enough into that game to find that out. <laughs> you should. You should. Is it hey, far you in? Know, like, far I, I, in? I gotta, super far in? I haven't gotten it? to it yet, and I'm like 30 oh, hours okay. in. So, yeah, I would say so. Uh, but uh, you know what I would suggest with that game, Jeff? Just do the story hmm. missions. Just just follow the story path. Oh, okay. Yeah, like don't even. Uh, yeah, like, do I just did else. like the first thing, and and uh, I was like, oh, this looks cool and feels and cool. Every once in a while, like it, it'll say that you're under level for the story mission, so go do some side ones. Just do one or two to like level up, and then like go back. Right. And then like you can beat that game in like 15 hours. Like it's supposed to be really short. Like just the story. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Or you well, can at least I mean, get you know, I'll entertain it, you know? the thought <laughs> for it uh, because you know Assassin's Creed franchise wise is still so much lower on the priority list i feel yeah yeah and <laughs> my playlist uh like I, I man i really gotta be wolfenstein people will not stop talking to me about that like at work um in in you know our groups our gaming group and yeah. stuff like just how good that story is so i really got to finish that game dude um sorry we went f- way far off that was uh, number six right for jd yeah that was that was also bones. way far off so we're not uh, we're sorry. not off because my pick was way far off so Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're not even the same stratosphere as my list right now, bro. Get on my level. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Good. Kyle, you're number six. <laughs> uh, my number six is Spider-Man. Uh, we're pushing. Yeah, it's a push. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. All right. Uh, hmm. Spiderman. Oh, no. Spiderman. I thought it was Spider-Man. Sorry. Spiderman yeah, is Spider-Man. not on my list. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Spider-Man. Uh, it's a game. It's a VR game. Uh, you, it's, so you ever uh, hear <laughs> of Uki Mouth? Any of our you ever hear of Uki Mouth from South Park? Uki Mouth? Where you like spit into like your friend's mouth and then uh, they try and say Uki Mouth where they spit your spit back into your mouth? Oh yeah, that's like, uh, that's just called Monday, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you all remember that joke from South Park? It's like season, do, yeah. That's a season one joke. Yeah, okay. It's a that's far really reach. early. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what Spider-Man is. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, can't wait to get AIDS. Nice. Alright, cool. Uh, my number six. This is the <laughs> indiest, the most but indie fuck. AIDS. <laughs> ev- this is <laughs> AIDS, 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 AIDS. <laughs> this is the most indiest fuck game on my list uh, that I could make room for. I guess it's the last night controversy. Oh, I'm cue the offended sound. Hold on. Wait, is that the, is the last night the one that like where? Yeah, the one that has the controversy around it because the guy. Yeah, about about the developer at least yeah. because he is. Uh, He's posted some opinions about women that are not very nice. Yeah, but you know what? They're not as mean as some of the other opinions I've seen about women. <laughs> so yeah. that's true. They're not the worst. Like On they're the not like of bad, the dude from the who did Minecraft, yeah. who is now an asshole. Yeah, whatever happened to that um, poor guy? He became rich and just a jackass. Like <laughs> he sold the game and just he's like, like yeah, dude, I'm a billionaire. Fuck it, I'm and a literally, he's now. like, I don't like pretty much anybody minorities you know women anybody so i don't know if he said that i have no idea if he said that <laughs> <laughs> but last night is a it's a 2.5d game so it's like you know it's kind of side scrolling but there's parts of it where like you know the the city or the room that you're in starts to shift a little bit and it becomes 3d it's really it's strange and it's a it's a cinematic type of mm. experience and and the and the and all the environments just elicit blade runner to me it's just i was on a blade runner high when i saw the trailer for the first time 
still fucking am. Guess what? Still am. And uh, yeah, of course, this game had to go super high because it is Blade Runner as fuck. And the trailer for it, two trailers for it, I think, are out. And one of them is more oh. thorough than another. And the more longer one has the score in it that sounds just like fucking Blade Runner. It's so cool. I don't think I've seen. I don't think I've seen the most recent trailer. I think so there's a longer one that surprising. premiered like a week later after E3 for some reason, or maybe oh, it was okay. like at a different. If, if it was that long ago, I saw it. I saw it. For oh, sure, okay. Uh, but yeah, I you know play if it was like re- like in the last recently or whatever you play a guy in a uh in a society where everybody is kind of living in you know high times but you play a guy in lower class uh and computers and all that shit are doing everything they're doing all like the bullshit work um and you play this dude that's Mm -hmm. just you know walks around the city you're free to do whatever the fuck you want based on what they've said at e3 and stuff um so you can go talk to people you can go you know everyday stuff getting gunfights no big deal uh, so I'm really fucking hyped for it, and I know that there is that controversy. I'm th- I'm not blind to the controversy, but I just want to play the game. <laughs> just want to play the game. That's all I want to do. Yeah, Sorry, right? That's what we're talking about. Uh, so that's my number six. So, uh, JD, what's your number five? Oh, shit. Um, yeah, I'm going. Uh, I'm going to Detroit. Become human is my number five. Ooh, I synchronized. Know. Nice. Slight push. Slight push. Oh, oh, son of what? a bitch. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so my number five, <clears throat> you guys are synchronized, you said, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so my it. number five is War God, God of War. No, oh, push that. Okay. Come on. Push it? Yeah. Wow. What's going okay. on with you? It's a no mission for me because I haven't played all the earlier entries, but whatever. Uh, this is actually an entry what? point, so that's why it's called God of War, not God of War 4. Yep. So no. shame on uh, you, JD. I'm yeah, I'm shame on you. You're um, just a fucking retard. Yeah. I didn't do. Oh, I said retard. Oh, any oh, ding, 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 ding. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to say that. Look, uh, the, 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 edit that. You know what? Out. I'm just. I'm right. sick and tired of not being able to use that word. And I, this is. It's over. I love that word. <laughs> I fucking love that word. Cause I'm sorry, it's got more use and just whatever. Yeah, it's like the word cunt. I know. Oh, I they're just. That. They're taking all I, the good I ones away from us. Hits you hard. I think I think the only thing I love more than that word <laughs> is loving the fact that I never say it, but only use it very appropriately. Like, yeah, well, <laughs> it's like because I only legitimately call that call somebody that word like maybe five times a year, and it just feels so good every time that it's like it builds up your cunt meter. And yeah. It's like you, <laughs> oh, and then I just yeah, you you cunt explode. JD uses spell cunt blast, and you're like awesome. It just feels like you win. Cause you had the, I mean, whatever. I would, you know how like stupid it feels like when uh, women, uh, like not women, but people try to take away like, words away, like bossy and stuff like that. I would rather you take away bossy. Yeah, I fucking hate that. Yeah, I would rather you take away bossy than, than, than retard. <laughs> so, yeah, 100%. <laughs> like take bossy, leave retard. Don't that's, be retarded. I'm yeah, keeping this is, retard. This is the transaction that we're having here, you know, we're having a draft on words, you know, <laughs> Oh right. man! Oh my God! That the would be great a fun words episode. draft. Keen, <laughs> Keen Peel should have done a, a skit for that. That would have been great. Yes, that is a hundred percent a skit. A skit. A sketch. A sketch. And a skit. Yes. Uh, yeah. God of War was my number five, and so that leads us to JD's number four. Damn. Um, I like this trailer a lot for this one. I don't know how mm. you guys feel about it, but I put We Happy Few as my number four. I like you, JD. Nice. You're a good guy. It's a good pick. Oh, cool. That's a great pick. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate that. That's yeah. where he found it out. That's where he figured yeah, it out right, 40 right. episodes this later. Is, it took a while, but <laughs> Every, that's good stuff. Everything else has just been yeah. lies. Well, you know, it's just like, just think of this as a really long interview process, and you finally got the job, so. <laughs> nice. Oh, so, you, so you're going to stop. This is a, that thing you do, right? So you're going to stop paying yeah. me? <laughs> Only Jeff will. Oh, my God. Only Jeff will get that, and probably not even him, because that's obscure nope. shit. That's an obscure-ass quote You remember, right it's like when Skitch gets, pr- uh, he goes on tour, and he's like, Darlene, you're being promoted. And she's like, so you're going to stop paying yeah. me? His sister that okay. works in the store. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah uh, I do remember that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so fucking dumb. I say that all the time. <laughs> Nobody gets Kinda it. Kind of like how I say, I don't care. I'll do it. I don't I'll care. Die. I'll, I'll do it. Thanks, Disaster I art. need to show my ass to sell this movie. <laughs> <laughs> People don't respect my vision. <laughs> Did y'all notice that Everyone the font for Disaster me. Artist is the same as Blade Runner? Did y'all notice that? What's no. that? Yeah. Wait, yeah. what'd you say? Look at that shit. The font for Disaster Artist, like the title font, is the same as Blade Runner. Oh, fuck off. I didn't know that. Hmm. Yeah, fucking blew yeah, my fucking blew my mind. I'm like, I need that font in my life. I feel actually. like you just made that up. No, no, definitely. Pretty not. sure you did. No, 
I can prove it. I'll show you. I don't care. I'll okay. show you. <laughs> okay, up maker, because you make stuff up. Uh, but yeah, that was your, sorry, your yeah, number four. Um, so uh, that, ahead, I mean, it, it looks sufficiently creepy for me. Like, the, oh, that's, the, I'll tell you the, what, uh, that's my favorite art direct uh, art design in any game that might come out next year. Seriously, yeah, it, no. it just, it, it just, it just really, really hit me. So if this, uh, this comes out for Windows, so I'm really going to try to get this. Um, yeah. I think it's coming out in April. It will be so on Xbox be after the One big... as well. Um, cool. And PS4. And PS4. Is it coming yeah, out? Yeah. I thought a PS4 is going to be a stagnated launch. I thought it's coming out later. You're, I think you might be right. I think you're right. I think it's coming out the same day. I'm just looking at the wiki. It says worldwide. I think I think you're yeah. I think you're right. I think Xbox oh, okay. got like um, an early access of it, which is going right now alongside the uh, um, Steam Green, whatever that like early access Steam thing that does. What is that? Green light or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh, green light, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is that? I I don't know why I can't think of that name either. Um, this is a survival game, so yeah. I probably won't play it. I'm terrible at those because it's like a play forever game, and uh, I, I'm just not good at those. I'm sorry, because <laughs> you got to start over every time you die or whatever. Is it really? It's uh, yeah, it is a survival game. Wow. Yeah, for sure. And it like, doesn't the, telegraph the that in any the of the gameplays are, that I've seen. That's crazy. Everybody's <laughs> taking this drug called Joy. And it yeah. leaves them constantly happy, and you know, of, of course, I think you're you're one of those people that's trying to break that that cycle. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, that's what the yeah. trailer showed is them force like the people with those fucking creepy masks trying to force you to take that. Yeah, drug. yeah. Um, so I and you know I I say yes to they are drugs, doing so. a, a movie adaptation, which is kind of like a no brainer, but unfortunately, it's being done by a studio that really? did you know such hits as Pitch Perfect Three. Oh, so I actually heard that movie was good, uh, dude. <laughs> Line up, no, line up, not. pitches. Let's do this. Don't. Look, I thought the first one was good, but otherwise, I thought the first one was good too. The, the first sound. one is and it uh, sucks. It, I love Anna Kendrick. Like, well, I mean, love the first love, one's love a good. Her. It's a movie when like you get dragged to that, like on a date, which I did, and then uh, when you walk out of it, you go, yeah. "I didn't hate that." You know, that wasn't yeah. wasn't yeah. sweet. Yeah. Wasn't <laughs> right. sweet home Alabama. You know, like thank you for. <laughs> I was not bored wasting, at home. Yeah, one thank you for not wasting my time with that movie. <laughs> I was super bored at home one night. It was like an HBO movie, and I was just kind of like, let's see what this fucking shit's about. This fucking bullshit. People won't shut the fuck up about yeah. it. And, uh, and, <laughs> and yeah, then I finished it, and I was like, okay, that was pretty good. Uh, the second movie, uh, Inseparable. <laughs> super bad. It's an inseparable movie. Um, hated the second one. We'll not see a third one, so I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, nope. I, the trailers for the third one alone just pissed me off. They, me it's too. Yeah, what funny. is it, an action movie now? Like, what the fuck's happening? Yeah, I know, right? There's action bits in there, and like there's a blown up helicopter, and they're jumping off like boat heists and fuck yeah. off. I'm not, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Anyway, Pitch Perfect Three was JD's number four. Yeah, Pitch Perfect Three. I uh, can't wait for that release. It's good. It's a Bioware game. So um. Yeah, I'm really, really stoked to dive yeah, into that world. Uh, actually, we are going to talk about a Bioware game eventually. But uh, yeah, yeah isn't will. that a Bioware yeah. game, right, Kyle? Anthem. Anthem. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why we're gonna. That's why we're gonna talk about that. So oh, okay. Uh, so Kyle, your number four. Uh, my number four is definitely not gonna get pushed because you guys are racist. Uh, it's Yakuza <laughs> Six: The Song of Life. Oh, yeah. oh I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought this was America. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna tell you, man. I've been invested in this series since like 2004 when it first came out, uh, and it is just like the good fellas of video games, you know, it's like, it's, it's just, you're taking like classic Yakuza movies and turning it into a video game. That's like a takes place in a GTA five or not five specifically GTA style world, a sandbox world, an open, an open environment, if you will. Um, you know, you're not getting into cars, you're not stealing cars or anything like that. It's a very condensed, smaller area, but like you can go into almost every building. Um, you know, it's just, a, it's a really alive populated world. And you can do anything. Like, there's so many side activities and stuff like that. But uh, the big mainstay for these games is just the ongoing story that they tell. They're just high caliber, high, uh, you know, um, just professionally written stories. You know, they're just really, really, really good. Uh, something that would exist outside of the medium in a movie or a script or a book that you would be reading, you know. Um, and you just don't get, like, high drama stories like that um, a lot in, in this industry. You know, it's just they're few and far between. And Yakuza just really nails it. You know, it, it feels like I'm watching uh, Brother or, you know, another Yakuza movie or something like that. Uh, and it just, um, yeah, we're getting like two of these a year, it seems like now, because they, they were never big. Yeah, they were never crazy. <laughs> they, they were never big when they originally came out, you know, and now they're big. So it's like they're remaking all the old games so like people can catch back up. So, 
you know, last year we got Yakuza 0, which is where everything started, but it was the newest game in the series. And then Yakuza Kiwami came out, which is the remake of the first game. Now next year, 6, which is the newest one of the series, comes out. And then later that year, the remake of 2 will come out, you know? So it's like everyone can play a catch-up game now, finally, to get, like, caught up on the series, uh, even though it's a, it's a right. massive undertaking. You know? <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, I'm very excited right. for this game. It's, it's a series that's, like, really near and dear to my heart, and I'm a big cheerleader for it just because um, it's, it's struggled trying to find its audience here in the West. I'm glad, yeah. There's so many people that have liked it in yeah. the gaming group that we're in. Um... Or I guess it's not really exclusively gaming, but you know what I mean. There's a lot of people that played it and loved it. Uh, good for yeah, them. I think it's you know. mostly an a- Assholes Anonymous group, but uh, whatever. It's, it's pretty fine. much, yeah. They're all dicks. <laughs> uh, but it's fun, though. It's fun. We, yeah, we have, we have, we have fun. Lot. We have a lot of fun. We have fun with each other. <laughs> all right. So uh, my number four is a push from earlier. It's Detroit Become Human. Mm. Oh, fuck that out. game. No, no. Okay. Oh, I, I can't <laughs> push a push. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't push a push, bro. Uh, so, but yeah, that's that's both of your number fives, right? So, uh, yeah, like yes. I said, it was our number push. five. Yeah. yeah, I put it yeah. so high on my list, and I'm glad you guys did too. I was kind of surprised by that, but I put it so high not just because I'm so hyped for it, but I imagine myself sinking the most time into this game and beating it maybe more than once. Um, <gasps> <laughs> my stars uh, <laughs> I'm just really excited for it I love that playthrough that they did at uh, PSX with the live crowd even though everybody else kind of shat on it at least in the group that we're in and of course because oh, they shit on everything people don't like games like that yeah people don't like I don't know people in that group just don't like non-game games I guess is oh, as they like would call narrative them. focus yeah like narrative just completely based, like, narrative I don't focus. Thing. Yeah, I, yeah exactly yeah. they don't like games like that but this, oh, I would have pressed I, the button and killed so things. It looks so good, though. Like it's yeah. it's visually just fucking amazing to look at. Like it when it went from cutscene to gameplay, I was like, "Get the fuck out of here!" I'm really secretly, they're controlling this guy right now. Secretly and deep mind. down, I bought a PS4 Pro and a 4K TV for that game. <laughs> like, right, it just deep down, it's gonna be it is gonna be the demo uh, for that yeah. technology. You know, so I'm very excited to. Oh my god, see those eye eye bleeding graphics. Yeah. And I love the re- the result of the uh, the playthrough that they did at the PSX, where like he ends up shooting the guy. But other other people on the couch, I think, were talking about how they played through that and they were able to talk the guy off the ledge or whatever. And it's just what there's possibilities for this. Mm-hmm. It's just oh, yeah. there's so many. And if oh, your character man, dies, crazy. like if like let's say like you tackle that robot off the ledge and you both tumble over, you yeah. just never go back to that character's story. <laughs> Just it just goes oh on. God, it just crazy. goes on with the other two characters. And it sounds like it'll be tougher to do a walkthrough because with heavy rain, I was kind of given an FYI on the walkthrough and stuff. Like, here's what you want to do if you want your best case scenario. Mm-hmm. And same thing, more or less, with Beyond Two Souls. But I cared a little less about those characters. I really just wanted to save the kid at the end of Heavy Rain. Um, <laughs> you know, but like Beyond Two Souls was more like I don't. Know, it's a more obscure game, more or less. Uh, I still love it though. I still love. Yeah, I love both. I love lot. both like quite a lot. But Detroit feels like there's more options to where you'll get completely lost and not be able to do a playthrough, like walkthrough, I should say, of like a, a guide or some shit like that that tells you this decision leads to that because it's going to spin off into so many different areas and become just yeah. a mucky spider uh, web. The, the script is 2,000 pages long. Holy fucking shit, dude. Jesus. That's insane. Yep, the script for the game. Yeah. Yeah. The average script for a game is like uh, 400 pages. Just uh, Jesus wow. Christ, that out there. Yeah. So like that's how many book. different like dialogue like that's how like many like in the game's not long you know it's gonna be an eight hour game nine hour game you know so like yeah. I'm sure they want so you to play it over so many again. different branching pass passes that uh yeah think think about like just shooting all that dialogue man I can't even believe that <laughs> yeah that's insane to me uh, those actors better get paid like out the ass for that <laughs> yeah I, I I actually wonder if this game was affected by the. Uh, by the by, the protest or whatever. Yeah, I wonder if that's what caused the a, a delay or a lack of an, a release. Date. Maybe it may, it may have caused the delay. Seriously, how long was that? It was months, right? Uh, it lasted about eight months. Yeah, the, the, yeah. the strike. Yeah, Jesus, it's over now. So you know. Yeah, I know. Maybe God. that's maybe that's why we're getting a, a, like, maybe that's why we don't have a lot of release dates for these games because they yeah, were on hiatus. That's true. You know, you're not going to make a God of War game without Kratos' voice. You know. Right. That's true. Uh, JD, you had Detroit in your list. I don't. We don't mean to, you know, box you out. I mean, I, you guys, you, you guys it? have said probably way more than I could. All right. Well, then, the fuck conversation. you. Then. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So just, just bye. Later. 
<laughs> Get out of here. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. Would you say, no, but seriously, though, JD, if I go, hey, there's, there's a story where uh, it's about these AIs who are becoming sentient and don't really know yeah. if they want to be servants anymore. How do you feel about that? Oh, man, I, I feel like they should just stay slaves. <laughs> I was expecting like, yeah, I really like stories like that. You're like, no, slavery. I'm pro-slavery. Yeah. I'm pro-robot slavery. <laughs> very, very yeah. pro-slavery. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's actually like a major part of my platform. Oh, okay, so, well, good. Like, just like in general. JD 2012, like, everybody. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, let's do it. Let's do that. it. Let's do it. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, I, I, I want to get that fucking game. Is it? It's going to be cross-platform, right? Hopefully, <clears throat> Detroit. Uh, PS4 did, tw- did twelve. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, you're gonna PS4. need to cut out that smoke. That's, 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 I think that's one man. of their exclusives. Okay, well, I'll give you guys my address so you can ship me your PS4 <laughs> and I can borrow it for two weeks. What could uh, go wrong? How about you can go fuck yourself? <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, fine. <laughs> <laughs> book, um, okay. So JD's number three is next. Damn. Um, <clears throat> all right. Well. Visually, I like this game. This one struck me similar to uh, the one you mentioned earlier, the indie game that the title is escaping me now. The oh, Blade last Runner. night. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, oh, um, out. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give this to you, JD. There's no fucking way this game's going next year. <laughs> okay, I have, I have no idea. Like, seriously, I have no idea. All I, uh, I did was search 2018 video games, I, and it came know, up, so you know, Google let me you. wrong. I believe you. Uh, I, I will say, um, because, uh, I'm obviously not going to be like, JD, take this fucking off your list. This would be like number, this would be like number two, <laughs> even with the games that you're going to see yeah, at number right? one and number two on my list. So yeah, it looks so it's, fucking good. It's like, it Hey, uh, so did good. you like the Witcher three? Oh yeah. I love that game. Uh, yeah. We're taking that game to space or not space, but like the future. I'm okay. Yeah. I want to go there. The yeah. future. Yeah. Yeah. The future. Yeah, yeah. Come to the future. <laughs> Get your ass to the Yeah, good to go to Recall. Uh, yeah, dude. Uh, I'm uh, incredibly hyped for this game. I'm glad it's on your list. You're just wrong for putting it on there. So, <laughs> okay, that's fine. And you know what? That's respectable. But um, you know, it's a, the, this is America. <laughs> this is America. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Talk about uh, Blade Runner. This game's got a major Blade Runner boner. Yeah, yeah it's gonna absolutely. be Blade Runner. That's, as, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as soon as I saw, like, it took 15 seconds. I'm like, okay. And, and I, I guess like what? Like to this, this day, go, that, that, that trailer came out three years ago, and that's still the only piece of information or anything on that game. That's how far off that game that we are. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I saw it. It had been in development since like 2000. Yeah, the second that Witcher 3 ended, they started development on this, or even during, you know, like there was cross pollination a little bit. So, uh, but it's going to be a great game, man. Gotcha. I mean, Witcher 3 is one of my favorite games of all time. I know that's like people yeah. are real bitter about that for whatever reason. Oh, really? It's one of like you're, when you're all Not fucking like, why? It doesn't one of your all time favorites. I've uh, never heard a bad word yeah, about it's, it. It's about like Witcher almost 3. perfect. Oh, it's not. As, and I always hear that it's not as good as Bloodborne because it came out the same year. I'm like, yeah, I just. I like the Soul series. I don't have a hard on for it, guys. I'm sorry. You know, I just don't. I don't have right. this massive yeah. like first date hard on or whatever that everyone seems to have like for that series. I think it's great. I think it's mechanically awesome. I think uh, the way they tell stories are amazing. Mm-hmm. I think they've got a lot of things going for that game. But like, man, like it cannot be the comparison point for everything going forward. Like that's just stupid. <laughs> right. Uh, and by the way, Witcher right. Three and Bloodborne not alike in any way, shape, or form in terms of like gameplay or uh, <laughs> what you swing swords in both games, so they're the same. Like now, that's not how that works. So, <laughs> yeah. No, they're not. Yeah, so, yeah, like, I, don't I don't even get the comparison this point. This is even at a all, comparison. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> I am very excited to see uh, a, what the mechanics are going to be like in cyberpunk 2027 because uh it is actually based off of the pen and paper game like dungeons and dragons it's an old school oh, it's called okay. cyberpunk 2077 uh that's what it's that's what it's based off of and and in that game like you're using guns and plasma swords stuff like that so i'm wondering what the combat's going to be like in this game is going to be range is going to be close up it's going to be a mixture um give me some gameplay they say it's the biggest game they've ever made also it's bigger than witcher cool, 3 man. which is maybe the biggest game world i've ever occupied so Huge. Yeah, it's me- huge. It, it, mega. We're building a mega it, structure. It, <laughs> it, it. All right, so uh, that was JD's number three was a game that's not coming out 2018. So, all right. <laughs> yeah, thanks for following the rules, JD. I appreciate it. Hey, 2020 hey, thanks, game. Thanks for, uh, thanks thanks for punk- steering <laughs> me in the right direction, guys. <laughs> yeah, we didn't do any of that. Uh, <laughs> all right, so uh, uh, Kyle, what's your number three? Uh, we pushed it earlier. It's Good of Woo. Or- Oh, God, this world, yes. Are we, are we talking about this, or is it, is it, are we pushing it? I don't think JD has it on his list. 
No. Oh yeah, you did say that. You're right. Uh, yeah, man, I'm really excited for this game. Um, uh, this is a series that I've never loved. I think it's fine. I think it's a fine game. I think if you really want like a roided out screaming version of Greek mythology, like you can find no better game than God of War. Um, I think that what this trailer has shown or these trailers that we've seen since they've um, announced this game is a series that has matured and a series that has grown up and a series that looks like it's taking itself a little more seriously. And uh, yeah. that's all I ever wanted out of that series. Seriously, that's all I ever wanted. That's, yes. the, only, that's the only ingredient that was ever missing for me. Um, so I'm very excited that they they finally uh, gave me that ingredient because uh, I'm going to be all over this game. It's Norse mythology, which I'm obsessed with. Uh, just absolutely, if it goes it goes Viking in terms of cultures, it goes like Vikings. I'm sorry, the samurai, Vikings, and then everything else doesn't matter. I mean, that's really <laughs> that's really kind of <laughs> how how that list goes. So uh, I, I'm very excited to see uh, what what beasts we're fighting from Norse mythology, what gods we'll be fighting from Norse mythology. Um, obviously who Kratos' kid is very important. Like who, who is his kid? He's obviously an important God. Uh, right. Who is his mother? You know, his mother was obviously a God. So, uh, you know, I think that the story is going to be really, really, really good. And, uh, man, I'm just excited. I think that every time I see something on this game, they figure out some way to get me more excited. And, um, again, this is just not a series I've ever loved. I've liked it, just not loved it. So, yeah, same same here cuz cuz Kratos has always been like vindictive, but I mean it's always a fun action yeah. game, but it's just like you can't it's hard He's to one dimensional, with him. you know, like ah oh, yeah, oh, I'm very. mad. I, yeah, I know, dude. You've been mad for 7 <laughs> games now. Like I get it. Yeah. But like what's <laughs> yeah. your motive? Oh, like, like I killed why do you my family. Again? I'm like, yeah, but you did that like 7 games ago. Like, you know, like <laughs> either get over it or finish what you've like, you know, whatever, you know. <laughs> But yeah, like you said, the mature the maturity of uh, of what this the, the this specific title is advertising is definitely what's what's getting me closer to wanting to buy like yeah. super hyped about it because yeah, it just reminiscent of the level of storytelling that somebody like well specifically yeah. Naughty Dog is doing. Um, it's like they saw what Naughty Dog was doing is like we need to we need well, to up our game. Well, they even pulled the camera back. They pulled back. the camera back behind the uh, the character, a la Resident Evil Four or yeah. Last of Us or something like that. So it's just a more cinematic uh, camera v- focus, also. And you could just yeah. tell that, like, um, I don't know. The combat's going to be more. It's going to mean. It's going to be more meaningful. Like you're not going to be just like killing millions and millions right. and millions of things, and it means nothing. Like every fight's going to be like you're thinking and like trying to get around it and trying not to get hit and stuff like that. Yeah, very excited. Mm-hmm. And the combos are cool. It sounds like you got some similar to a lot of action games nowadays. You have interactive combat yeah. with the environment um, where like you get close to something and you can just knife them with, I don't know, a shield. That's yeah, hanging yeah. On the wall or, or some you can like, like uh, throw your um, uh, axe at like a torch up above and it like lands in the oil below and like lights everything on fire. You know, it's going to be cool. You know, it's going to be it's gonna be fucking rad. Right. And you can choose to not do that, too, yeah. which is also rad. Uh, if you want to get close and brutal, it's time to play the game. It's time to play the Sorry. game. <laughs> I understand that reference. <laughs> I understood that reference. Uh, I got to get one of those fucking sound bites on here. Yeah, <laughs> you, absolutely. Yes, Otherwise you do. It's just, you know, yes, you do. Uh, right. uh, now you play in. Uh, Okay, so that was my. Uh, that was your. That was your number three? That was not my number three. You don't have to um, say it like that. Right, we're on three, <laughs> yeah. right? You're you're my number craziest. three. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah, my number three, and the two of the titles I'm about to talk about. This one, starting with this one, I pushed. So I mean, spoilers, I guess. But number three is Anthem, and. <sighs> This game is literally just Iron Man and I in an open world and I want to fucking play it. <laughs> um, yeah, it it's, it's Destiny Iron Man. That's what this game is. Yeah, it's pretty much yeah. And you can pop the way that you can freely like pop in and out. I mean, kind of like you can with Destiny, uh, pop in and out of somebody's game. I mean, so it's it, they're definitely borrowing a lot of elements from that. But the fact that you can just it's it feels more open than that. You know, you're kind of grounded in Destiny with your vehicle well, that goes a little fast and stuff well but the thing about destiny is, in this game is that like it it tries to make it feel like you're exploring this whole galaxy but really i'm exploring six hub areas <laughs> yeah yeah and every time i want to go to a new area i have to be ripped out of the experience in a lo- in a loading screen that loads a loading screen to load a last loading screen to load me into the game 
<laughs> yes. Which <laughs> is literally how this destiny is, if y'all have ever noticed what that is. Whenever you're like ever in orbit, like that's just a loading screen. So yeah, it's when you're loading, loading to go to orbit and then reloading from orbit to go back into a game, that's a double loading screen. Uh, just just yeah. the FYI, everybody. Uh, very annoying. To loading me. screen set. Uh, this just looks like you're on Earth or on a world and it's just open. And there's no loading. Yeah, it's just, and it looks open as fuck. It just goes too, yeah. on and on, and there's so much verticality to it. Like you start so high, but it's not even the highest point. It doesn't even look like the highest point. But when you jump no. off that platform, you fall hundreds, if not thousands, of feet. <laughs> like, right. It's crazy. Yeah, this was a standout demo. I mean, honestly, this and my number two were like one and two on the E3, uh, whatever showing for 2017. That we uh, we did an episode, I think, about that. And uh, because the demo was just fucking captive, like breathtaking, like I was, was like, yeah. holy shit, do I have to play this? And just seeing your, you know, obviously they're staging a lot of v- VO and stuff like that. Oh, my God. For the demo. It's like my least favorite way to demo a game is like yeah. fake. Oh, yeah. let's see if Danny's oh, online. From Danny, you want to help us? Hey. Danny, want to help us with this mission? Sure to be good loot. <laughs> yeah, Fuck like off. Ghost Recon yeah. Wildlands. <laughs> All right, yeah, I got exactly him in like three, that. two, one. Boop, 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 like yeah, that's right. Are you right, all right? Pull out your silencers, <laughs> okay? All right, everybody, go ahead and go in. Fuck <laughs> off, no one's come on. <laughs> but you can see people when they drop into your game. Sometimes they can fly in and just start attacking fucking like wild beasts in the area and stuff uh, from yeah. the air. They can do that, and you can do it from the ground or whatever. It's you can go underwater and fly. From that was my water. favorite part. It's, that was my favorite part is when yeah. they're like, oh, we got to get out of here. And he jumps into water and it's a whole fucking world underneath the water. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah. wait, what? It's crazy. So what? There's, there's, so there's, a, there's a world in the sky. There's a world on the ground. And there's a whole world under like a subterranean world, you know, like what? Right. <laughs> that's that's insane. It's it's currently they're saying Q4 2018. Probably not going to happen. No, um, probably not. Maybe maybe Q1, Q2, 2019, probably. Um, because that's the first time they talk about it was E3 2017. Yeah. And, and I, it just doesn't feel like... I mean, Detroit. if Detroit can't get out... <laughs> uh, David all, Cage like, like, classically pushes back games, though. So, he does. Yeah. So you're right. Uh, yeah, I learned that. Um, <laughs> I, but, uh, but yeah, you didn't have this on your list, though. Was it just because the Bioware lack of success right now? Uh, so it's not even Bioware. You know, I like Mass Effect. I thought Mass Effect was a you'll see where mass effect lands at the end of the year and you'll be very surprised i promise <laughs> uh oh, I, wow I, interesting I, yeah absolutely it's very interesting uh, i i think bioware is very healthy ea's the problem ea's oh, not interested yeah. in single player experiences they're not interested in cultivating anything besides money grabbing type of, and i'm not this like anti-ea like uh, i didn't buy star wars because i'm a try hard you know like Dude, I bought Star Wars and I played it and I beat it, you know, and I'm playing online like a couple couple matches a week, you know. Like I I yeah. bought it. I'm part of the problem. I don't give a shit, you know. Uh, but uh, I'm, yeah. I'm very like I'm <laughs> very aware of what the issues with the AR and uh, I think a lot of that. I think they're gonna be all up in Bioware's business with this game. I think they're gonna be very micromanagey and uh, very yeah. like. That could be why they're pushing the yeah, multiplayer aspect Yeah, absolutely, of it. which is fine. You know, and, and this is not Bioware's thing. Bioware makes single-player story experiences. So you could tell this is like an EA. Well, I mean, like, just do whatever you're doing, but put people in it. Just put people in it, you know? Like, it just it just feels like that to me. Right. It just feels like EA came to Bioware and was just like, whatever you're working on right now, make it online. You know, and I hope that's not how it ends up being. I just, uh, I just know how EA is, uh, and it scares me. And it scares me away from, like... Uh, Fully, uh, this is what was number one or number two in my most anticipated e- E3 or what what like wowed me out of E3. Just EA has done a lot of bad over these yeah. last six months, you know, to like really like, oh yeah, no wonder you're rated the worst company every year. Like, yeah, I get it now. You know, I've always gotten it, but thank you for validating it again another year in a row. Appreciate it. Uh, but all that being said, I'm very, very excited for this game. I think it'll hit 2018. I think Q- quarter four sounds right. If it slips, it won't surprise me though. It doesn't. It won't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't be shocked is what I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. Still excited for it, though. JD, did you have this anywhere? Um, No, I did okay. not. You didn't put Anthem on no, here? No, I didn't. I did not. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. I did not wow. play Sid. I did not. Yeah, I thought you had like an 8 or something. Wait, yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking yeah. Anthem. Yeah, right? 
Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah I had that at eight. That was uh, that was my oh, replacement for your brain just went um, another thing. Uh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Well, he thought we were talking about the Star Spangled Banner. So yeah, exactly. That's true. Yeah, under oh, underrated song, you guys. Uh, all right, so yeah, very uh, that was my number three. That brings us back to. Uh, do, do you guys know what the meaning of that song is? <laughs> we're not going down that rabbit hole. Uh, JD, what's your number two? <laughs> um, uh, I, uh, I, I um, uh, Metal Gear Solid Survive. Is it really? is my number two? It's it's Metal Gear it Survive really? actually. So oh, okay. sorry. Yeah. Are you fucking with me right now? <laughs> no. Why would I be fucking with are you? Are you fucking with me right now? Why would I be fucking with you? I don't know, but I feel like I'm being fucked with right now. <laughs> are you serious? You know I love Metal Gear too, yes! right? I yeah, Metal Gear is my favorite game ever. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't like this? No. <laughs> really. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm always going to be hyped for a Metal Gear game, period. I don't know. Konami. I know. Konami I know. I know. He's Kodima not there. And I know that all over it. This like, no, you don't add zombies to Metal Gear. No, <laughs> dude, it's a Metal Gear game. I don't care. Like, I don't mm-hmm. have I, I, no. I guess I don't have any uh, reservations about the, the behind the scenes drama. Like, I just don't I, I'm not I'm not a fan enough of the industry to like let that sway me. Um, Man, it's not it's just, not even just, the drama. It's just adding zombies to Metal Gear. I know. Just no. I know. But I fucking love no. Metal Gear. Just give me more Metal Gear always oh, and forever, please. Man. He's part right. of the problem. You're not, you're not wrong. part of the problem. I'm, I'm not gonna hey, I'm not gonna fucking <laughs> buy it. Are you kidding me? I haven't <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's that's why I'm like that two. I don't want to buy it. You're never gonna buy it, so you're not gonna add to the issues. I'm not gonna no, okay. not I'm not gonna give you the I'm not gonna give you the whole for Phantom Pain to be like a two dollar Steam sale or some shit. Can I tell you something, man? Don't play that game. Yeah. Really okay. sour over don't play time. That game. You're, you're yeah, very soured on that game over time. <laughs> okay, okay. What about Ground Zeroes? No, don't play that game at all. Really, don't play that. Me- shit. Kojima okay. hid little messages in there, pretty much that were saying, "Help me, I hate this job." Pretty much. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh my <laughs> yeah, god! Like, Holy so, shit! That poor man. Yeah, it, no, just don't. That yeah, poor don't, man. Don't play that game. Okay. Just don't. I mean, all right. You know. I, I'm very unfair to this game. It is one of the greatest playing games of all time, and it's one of the best looking games of all time. It's just not a Metal Gear Solid game. It's like the it's true. It's that's true. It looks different. It's the husk of what Konami wanted a Metal Gear Solid game to be, you know. And Kojima was just like, okay, um, <laughs> whatever, guys. I'm yeah. gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go get fucking crazy on this other game. You're yeah, gonna I'm gonna see. go fucking. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, and that's the thing. Like Kojima has been very restrained while at Konami, even though he's been like very like crazy at the same time. Yeah, uh, we're about to see Kojima within a a group of people who refuse to say no to him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to need about six more years on this and about 50 million more dollars. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm uh, like, I'm <laughs> yeah, uh, right. excited and also nervous. Like, yeah. Cause what if this means, Oh no, he was insane the entire time. Or I know. Something like yeah, that. No. And you know what? <laughs> I'm fully ready to learn that. All right? <laughs> I've been prepping my brain for many, many, many months to like learn that piece of information where it's just like, Oh, He's insane. Okay. <laughs> well, Konami was keeping him grounded all this time, you know? <laughs> like, that's crazy. Uh, I'm fully ready to, to, to learn that information. But, uh, yeah, I, right. I, at the same time, like, we're about to get, like, the most pure stream of conscious, like, consciousness storytelling from him ever. Like, yeah. just Kojima unfiltered. And uh, I think that's what I'm most excited about uh, now that we're talking about Death Stranding for whatever reason. <laughs> God, that looks so good, man. Uh, impressive cinematic. So you know, I gotta say, JD, I would have rather you put Death Stranding on the list than that Metal Gear Solid. Game. So I'm very, <laughs> God, I'm very man. upset at myself right now. I had, I had no clue you were so opinionated on this. I, I am mean... very opinionated on it, and you're not even hearing half of it. I'm being very <laughs> subdued. It's and true. I'm it is true. So your myself. opinions are like the uh, your opinions. My, are like my opinions are are, are venomous and mean. <laughs> and I'm just gonna keep them to my not to you, but to that game, man. Damn, dude. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I brought. I, well, no, I didn't okay. know, you know what. I'm just gonna I'm lose sorry. sleep tonight. I'm surprised and it's just gonna be still on the line. Yeah, I'm really surprised. Uh, yeah, me too. Yeah, it's just like my number two Great. is Metal Gear. The second I go, is this a joke? And you go, no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Hello? I assume his number two was Ching Tong and a Bing Bong. I don't know. <laughs> Something terrible. Sorry, that's the worst. Oh boy, cutie offended sound. We're cultured. We're All right. uh, uh, so Kyle, what's your you number know, JD, two? I, I'm, I'm going to say one more nice thing before oh, okay. uh, we move on. JD, thank you for just recognizing Metal Gear Solid. You're you're a saint. I appreciate it. Thank you for what? Uh, recognizing Metal Gear Solid, like just in general. Okay. Yeah. 
There yeah. we go. Yeah, dude. I mean, that's that's the I literally bought my first PlayStation because of that Same. game. Same. And when I went to the Best Buy in Plano, they didn't have that fucking game. So I think at that time you could only go up to the one in like McKinney. I think there weren't like other options in the area because Best Buy was still kind of relatively low mm-hmm. key. And uh, yeah, I drove around for a good little bit with my dad trying to. <clears throat> I uh, I played that demo game. on PlayStation Underground probably more than any demo ever. Um, you know, because I didn't have it, and I played yeah. over at a friend's house. You know, because uh, they didn't have the game, I didn't have a PlayStation, and they had that demo disc. Uh, and then finally, a friend yep. got it, and I remember playing all the way up to the Psycho Mandis part, and then having to go home, and just going home and oh, begging man. my mom, like, well, I gotta have a play, like I've gotta right. have one, like. Like, you know, and it was summer, and she's like, well, I mean, you'll just mow the yard all summer, and I'll go out and buy you one, but, like, you're not going to get paid for it. I'm like, De- fucking deal, you know, like, deal. <laughs> and, yeah, she bought me that, bought me Metal Gear Solid, went home and beat it that night. Um, didn't even care that I had to play through the first part again, you know. But back then, you didn't care about your time, you know? Nope. So, yeah. Man, I just remember the sense of satisfaction when I figured out that uh, controller mechanic. Oh, yeah, I remember uh, this oh, was before the internet. Like, was, me and Kozart were like, there, this there is was how no we internet back yes. then. You know what? So you're not just jumping on and looking. Yeah, you could buy a strategy guy. Yeah, or, or maybe a friend waste, figured it out or something like that. You know? and, and when, whenever like, your friend showed it to you, at, at least that's how I figured out a friend showed it to me, I go, how yeah. the fuck do you yeah. know this? Like, how would you have ever known to do that, you know? And Jeff, for, for reference, right, uh, in- Psycho Manus is a character that takes over your mind. So mm-hmm. you have to actually get up and unplug your controller from port A and plug it into port B to like continue the boss fight. Oh my fight. god, yeah. that's the only while way you can While at the beat same him. time, like, while at the, the same time, he's you reading avoid his your control. memory card and telling you all the games that you played. <laughs> yeah, no game had so ever done anything like that creepy, ever. Dude. You know, so it was just like, yeah, it was just it's out of so this creepy. world, crazy. Uh, you know. And then this game was also known for, like, there was a part of the game where it was just like, you got to call me on this number, and the number was on the actual case of the game, or in, the, like, the booklet or whatever. So it, Oh, my so if, God, I forgot exactly, about it. It's on the inside of the... So if you got like a used bind- copy and it didn't come with a binder or, or a thing, you were just fucked. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. That's... Good times. Good on you. Memories, I appreciate man. that. Uh, I know. I've, I'm, I'm just trying. I'm, I'm steering thank, out of my thank, hate thanks, here a little bit. Thanks, you, sir. Let me just this uh, this guide whole me out of here. I, I don't know. This whole franchise I totally missed out on and can't feel like I can't go back oh, to. Man. That fucking sucks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could, but it would be like I you have to look it. past certain graphical, uh, you know, problems. Uh, whatever, it's fine. Anyway, any <laughs> freaking way. Uh, what's your number two, uh, Kyle? Uh, my number two, I just switched at the last minute just to make number one easier because I'm pretty sure I know what number one is for everybody. Uh, I went ahead and got Kingdom Hearts 3 as my number two. That was... Actually, I kind of would have understood if that was going to be your number one. I know. It actually <laughs> was until just a second ago, and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to... Just We'll talk about the number one all together. You know? <laughs> that's an honorable yeah. mention for me, though. Cause, I did. Yeah, because <laughs> that's... Yeah, I mean that game has been. It feels like God. I feel like I I was still a virgin when we were talking about this uh, game. When did this game come out? I was sixteen. I was one hundred percent a virgin. So I had one hundred percent a virgin know, when this 25? game came out. Twenty five? No, I'm just kidding. One hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. Loser. Lost my virginity I like when I was, three was uh, definitely... uh, the year after I. It was okay. So I turned seventeen in July, and I got laid in August. And everyone remembers their first time. So don't make it weird. Don't make it weird. No, that's good. Everyone remembers that's their first time and date and exact time. <laughs> it was twelve p.m. Oh, dude, <laughs> I remember my first thirteen times. So because those were the last <laughs> distinct <laughs> times. Because they were the last thirteen <laughs> times, and they all happened yesterday with myself. So it was a busy oh, day. It, was a busy it looked day. like your dick busy. got thrown out of a moving car and dragged for a mile. <laughs> oh yeah, seriously. No, it, it looks it, it looks like that guy seen from Cell Block ninety nine or that guy's face. Oh, that's, God. that's what my dick looks like right Jesus. now. It's raw. Oh man, I almost threw up it's when you said raw. that. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah. yeah, what the fucking yeah. what fucking game were we even talking yeah. about again? Kingdom Hearts three, uh, the most family friendly game <laughs> on this Kingdom list. Hearts? Y'all are trying to bring dick skin getting peeled off. So thank you for that. It is the most family. Yeah, of course. <laughs> hey, Only this podcast. Would be I, rem- I know, course. right? Yeah. I remember You're getting welcome. this game uh, when I was 16. Uh, a GameStop employee talked me into it because I didn't like, I wasn't big into JRPGs at the time. Not like I am now. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, no, you got to play this game. It's really good. I'm like, yeah, I'm not really into Disney. You know, I, again, like when you're 16, like you're in that phase where you're like, Disney's kind of gay. 
you know, and I don't mean that like I'm saying that as my 16 year old self, <laughs> you know, you know, 11 years yeah. ago, not as I was of the same mind. So yeah, no. uh, you, know, like, you, know, dumb, you know, in the context of what gay used to mean to us. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, it's just like, but it wasn't that, you know, they're like, no, man, it's actually a really dark story. Uh, and uh, come on, man, you know, you like Disney. You watched Lion King when you grew up. I'm like, yeah, you're right. You know, <laughs> all right. You watched Aladdin. Come on. All right. Yeah, you're right. I watched <laughs> called you. I watched out, Aladdin. Son. You're right. Yeah. Uh, so I bought that game and uh, I bought it with uh, birthday money. And I remember my birthday party was that night. And it was a slumber party because uh, at 16, I was still having slumber parties. Get over it. Um, and uh, so... I remember in being in my room while everyone was out in the living room watching movies and stuff like that, playing this game, completely se- segregated from my entire party because that's all that really mattered to me. I just wanted to play this game, uh, and it, it it was an obsession. It was it was an obsession. It really was like it just like that's all I thought about. I was like yeah. trying just to get out of school just to go home and play this game. It was it was one of the few times that I remember just like the obsession being so. I don't know, like pure, I guess. Like Metal Gear Solid does that to me. Kingdom Hearts does that to me. GTA games do that to me. Uh, not very many games really do that to me. Uh, but like, I, it was just feverish. When I wasn't playing it, it's all I was thinking about, you know? Uh, and uh, 2 did that to me. All the sequels did that to me on the mm-hmm. handhelds, you know? And now we're finally getting a real 3. And I'm very excited for that. Rumors of myths about Star Wars working its way into the series. Uh, I mean, it's just like, it's crazy to yes. think about Marvel maybe Do working it. its way into the series. You know, it's, it's crazy to think about like all the Man, things that could possibly that make so it. Much fun. They're already adding Toy Story and Pixar. That's already huge. You know, like that's, though, that's huge. You know, like uh, we never had that right. before. So, um, oh my God, I'm just very, very, very excited for this. This game is like, it's going to remind me of childhood. It's going to remind me of just growing up. Um, you know, 16 was a very formative year for me. 16, 17, 18. There's a formative years for every boy or girl, you know? So, like, um, I just have a lot of memories from real life tied to this game for whatever reason, even though they have nothing to do with each other. Gotcha. Uh, that's definitely an honorable mention for me because I did, I did play the shit out of Kingdom Hearts 2. I don't remember ever beating it, but I remember, like, kind of being just curious because I worked at Blockbuster at the time, so it was a free rental if I, I rented it. So, whatever. No, no money. Who cares? And when I was playing it, yeah, I would get shit from my brother for playing it because it was like, you know, it's a child. It's it's a, it's a kid game. And I was like, I don't fucking care. This is captivating as shit. I can't tell And the game is about this. people getting their hearts, the darkness that lives inside of everybody's hearts that manifests itself in the evil. It's a pretty, it's a pretty dark game, you yeah. know, like. Yeah. You know, good, easy enough for a kid to understand, but like also deep enough for a, an adult to like get a lot of layers out of. And the story in this universe <clears throat> I mean, you need like a roadmap to understand any of it. No kid understands it completely, you know. Like, oh my god, yeah. I'm a, I, I'm a 31 no year old man, and I have yeah. I couldn't I couldn't write an essay on the story of the series. Like, I would have to like do research. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking awesome. Uh, that's a great number. It would have been a great number one too. I wouldn't have faulted you for that because it's like that game's been yeah. a long time coming. Um, my number two though, we pushed it earlier from somebody. I don't remember who. Spider Man. I think it was Ooh, Kyle. Ookie Mouth. Ookie Mouth. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the game. Did JD? Did you not have this in your list? No, man. Uh, I kind of, kind of glossed over it. I didn't. Uh, I didn't think it would be anything different than uh, some of the other yeah, Spider-Man uh, games. That we I really in the past. wish I would have told you to watch that trailer because you would have watched that Me trailer too. and go, "Oh, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen." <laughs> yeah. So what's what's different about it? I mean, because I've played like the old PS2 entries, I think, for Spider-Man and you know, like the, the God, movie how, how would you even explain it? It's like all the best parts you know, of Spider-Man Two. So like cruising around the city and the side missions and mm-hmm. being able to do little activities woven into like an uncharted story. <laughs> yeah. So like much. a super, super, oh, okay. super like well-written heavy action set piece focus type of uh, experience. Yeah. The set pieces are, are going to okay. gravitate, like get people to gravitate towards this shit for sure. Uh, because yeah, the opening sequence, it feels like the opening of the game. It could be some part in the middle, but yeah, uh, the from demo. I understand it. So that's about halfway through the game. The, oh, uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. It's about halfway through the game. Yeah. Cause at the very end of the game, Wilson Fisk is like, he's out of prison and doing stuff and you're the one who oh, puts okay. him in there. And in oh, the cool. demo, he's in prison, you know? Right. Uh, yeah. That demo though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. And the main bad guy, he's a made up bad guy. Like they created yep. him for this game. I love that. It's kind of cool. Yeah, love that ballsy. Okay, and the suit fine. made up for the game. <laughs> Never seen that suit before in my life. Totally, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, huh. But yeah, the, you'll be super impressed with the with the gameplay. You'll be like, "There's no fucking way this is real. Like, this doesn't feel like a real game. 
it's not possible. And sure, like you press a button and the game's doing a lot of the work and stuff, but it's so it, talk about environmental interactions. Like it's everything you want from Spider-Man when he does actions. Like you can choose to swing your web over to grab like a some type of pillar or some type of pole and use it as a weapon against a bunch of dudes and stuff. Yeah. And like everything in your environment is interactive. You can play with it and use it to your benefit. Um, you can string them up it's from fucking anything. Awesome, dude. Yes. Yeah. It. Oh, man. Sure. Again, the game is probably doing a lot of the work, but still, the fact that the game is doing that at all, period, still blows my fucking mind. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, okay. it's man. fucking amazing. I'll check trailer, it out. Man. Yeah, it's like the best like eight minutes of gameplay I've ever seen. <laughs> and the new trailer showcases that you are playing as other characters in the game, also. Oh, so like sweet. there, That's there right. are moments where you are oh, okay. playing as Mary Jane, witnessing Spider Man doing all this stuff, trying to get away from the calamity of the situation, which sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, now they're putting you in a street level civilian type situation where you're just like experiencing a superhero event. You know, that's yeah. cool. I think that's super cool. Uh, and uh, 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 the game is a majority Peter Parker story, so like it's very mm-hmm. focused on like Peter Parker and what he's doing. And this is like six years into his tenure as Spider Man, so he ain't like a new spider on the block. Like he knows right. he knows what he's doing. And- he's in college, you know, like. It's uh, it's an advanced Spider-Man story. Very excited. Yeah, and and Miles Morales sneaks cool. into the game right. too. He is uh, in there. Either yeah. going to be his mentor or something. I don't know how it's going to work. We don't. Oh know yeah, that. I I hope this. Uh, but he's in the game. A trilogy where like you play as like Peter Parker this game, Miles Morales the next game, and then the third game is like both of them together. And this is the studio that did Infamous. Is that right, or was this? <clears throat> yeah, did uh, did Infamous. Yeah. Uh, Insomniac Games. Yeah, yeah. Insomniac's a great studio. Oh, they did uh, Ratchet and Clank yep. in the 2000s. Oh, holy shit. Ratchet and Clank's um, a big, big game. Yeah. Big, big, it's a big, 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 big game. Uh, <laughs> no, they did Sunset Overdrive. They didn't do... I'm sorry, Insomniac's a different studio. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, what was the name? Infamous is a different studio, sorry. Uh, this is Ratchet and Clank and uh, Sunset Overdrive. Man, this is a tall order, but yeah, the game looks incredible. I get so Sucker far. Punch and Insomnia mixed up all the time. Yeah, so it's like, Sucker Punch. No, yeah, we were no like, judgment oh, it's a from Sucker me. Punch. I'm sitting here going, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. And I go, no, we're both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, yeah, but your second part of it is right. Absolutely. I Yeah, I can't wait to play it. Spider Man is due for, it's, it looks like 2018 is another, another one of his years because he's got that animated movie that's coming out. It looks fucking incredible, too. Dude, yeah. Um, that, that made my most anticipated, I think, audible mentions, at least, because that trailer is amazing. Yeah, it's, it's really <laughs> movie good. looks so yeah. cool. Um, man, have you watched it, JD? Uh, no, I need to. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, it's good. And it's like a theatrical, like it's going to come out around holiday time, theatrical animated movie for Spider-Man. Wow. Okay. And um, it wow. kind of looks anime ish in terms of like some of the, you know, the way it's drawn and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, I yeah. think Lord Miller did it. Lord Miller wrote it. So there's some people involved that like give a shit. And like from uh, last Man on Earth? Yeah, uh, Lord and Lord and Miller wow. uh, Lego movie. Yeah, those guys in Twenty One yeah. Jump Street stuff like that. Cool. Uh, yeah, man, it's I'm really fucking Wait, hyped. All, all those are the same guy, right? It's yeah, Last it's two Man guys. on Earth, Twenty One Jump Street. Okay, just make sure they got kicked <laughs> off a of song solo. Yeah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. You know, like these guys do great shit, and they did. Okay, whatever. Don't don't give me a story. <laughs> Remember whenever we brought up like, hey, uh, uh, those guys got kicked off the movie, and everyone was like, "Good, we hated those directors." I'm like, what? I, that was like the <laughs> yeah. only thing I was excited uh, it didn't about. Need to be a comedy, movie. but yeah. yeah, it fucking did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's Han Solo. He's the funniest fucking character. In Star I know. Wars. And that's my that's my favorite argument. People are like, I just don't want a comedy Star Wars movie, and I'm like, well, yeah, but wouldn't it make sense if like it was the Han Solo movie because he's the funniest character? Well, he's not really a funny yeah. character. Did you see Star Wars? <laughs> 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 It's mind blowing. He's one hundred percent the comic relief in every scene that he's in. <laughs> yeah, even especially in Force Awakens, he's hilarious in that big. Deal. Yes, I do, uh, Chewie. Every time I laugh, every time. Speaking of every time, oh my god, every time Me I too. laugh hard. Yeah, <laughs> every time. You find out every time. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, so honorable mentions. Uh, yeah. Really quickly. Um. I. I. We already mentioned Far Cry Five is one of mine, and Kingdom Hearts Three. Um, I have a couple Telltale ones. The Walking Dead, the final season with Clementine. Sure, why not? Um, yeah, it's gonna I'm be really for emotional. That. Uh, I heard that the new engine made the new Walking Dead. Uh, with the, you know how they remade Walking Dead season one in the new engine that they're using for the newest season. Yes, uh, yeah, it, that's right. It looks like ni- like it's supposed to look like ten times better than the original. I haven't oh, I haven't wow. seen actually pictures of it yet, but like from what I understand is it's like whoa, you know. So I'm very excited for yeah. the new engine. 
Yeah, I'm excited to see Wolf Among Us in a new engine too, because season two of that's yeah, coming out. It and is. That's been a most anticipated one for a lot of people. Uh, uh, Telltale is they they just cut their force by like three thousand people. So um, Ooh. maybe they'll uh, only do two shows next year. <laughs> yeah, so I, you know I, I know <laughs> they're, they're cutting, doing like they're cutting back their force a lot. So I think they're yeah they're restructuring in some way. I don't think 2019 right. is going to look like the last five years of Telltale, to be honest. So. Uh, but, uh, beyond that, you know, Crackdown 3, of course, is, here it is again. Uh, <laughs> Crackdown 3 is on mine. State of, de- de- State of Decay 2, you and I should be playing together. Yeah, that, that could be fun. Uh, I have Yoshi on mine. It's not really titled anything yet other than Untitled Yoshi Game. But they showed it at E3, and I was just really fucking floored by that game. It looks funny as shit. And, um, Here's a nice a Japanese name title. for you, Jeff. What? Uh, pro- Here's a nice Japanese uh, name for you, Jeff. Uh, Project oh. Octopath Traveler. That is a perfect... Oh, man. <laughs> I, that's like literally a perfect Japanese name. Like <laughs> throwing darts at American words. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what, is that, what does any of that mean? First off, I don't think Octopath is a word. Uh, and yeah, Put two words it. together. It sounds cooler. <laughs> Uh, I'm very excited for Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that looks fun. That one looks like a uh, you know an actually like really fun fighting game. Like it's not. Yeah, it, I, I could probably pick it up. You know, uh, everybody who's screaming about Metroid Prime Three not being on Jeff or I's list, I 100 percent don't think that game's coming out this year or next year. So oh I, okay, I know they yeah, said. 20, I didn't even. I know they said. I just don't have an attachment to it. I know so they I said uh, no 2018. Well, I'm just trying to cover your ass, Jeff. But if you want to expose yourself, oh, okay. you, you by all means, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I thought this was actually. I don't like that really love game that only other people buy switches for. Like, seriously, <laughs> people are buying <laughs> switches only for this game. Like it makes no sense to me. I'm like, this yeah. game's like an idea right now. I wouldn't. I would wait. <laughs> yeah, I would settle yeah, down. I, I mean, wait. unless you want to play you Zelda or Mario, two that's years rad, for this but, game uh, to come out. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you mentioned a Metro, though. Metroid, but Metro still is in that word. Metro Exodus is one yeah. of my honorable mentions. That's uh, it is for me, too. too. I don't believe that's coming out next year. Oh, really? Okay. That's just, um, I mean, and I base it off of nothing. I'm just like, I look at that oh, game okay. and I go, yeah, it's not coming out. Because that's studio, look really ambitious. That studio is very small and is a very, it's, it is, uh, people have been likening it to the, their witcher 3 so like oh, they okay. did oh, metro yeah. 1 which is kind of like eh, it was okay metroid 2 uh which was awesome which witcher 2 was awesome for cd project red and now and then 3 uh turned into a giant open world game and that's exactly what this game is doing it's turning into a giant it's, yeah. it's their witcher 3 and they're just as small of a studio so i, I just it looks i yeah. think this is gonna get pushed it looks back. uh really ambitious you could be right Super there ambitious, for sure yeah. Um, uh, I will also one of oh, I was gonna say Bayonetta three. Uh, I didn't put on my list because I don't ooh, think it's yeah. coming out either this year. So it, it oh, just okay, got yeah, announced. Just I don't think it's coming out. It. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was gonna say uh, one of Kyle's favorites, one of Kyle's uh, favorite franchise ever, Dark Siders three could be coming out with something, and I'll play it because it's fun. <laughs> I'm really glad you put my stamp um, of approval on that. I appreciate it. <laughs> your favorite yeah, man I know. I know it if you want to play an amalgamation of assassin's creed zelda and every other game you've ever played in one game go ahead and play this game <laughs> <laughs> whatever man you're i know like one I, of the, the horsemen. thing is, is like fucking, when, when i say it like that, people are like i actually kind of want to play that game <laughs> <laughs> i'm pretty sure i have both of those on steam <laughs> yeah Darksiders i do too Darksiders i am uh i, I am odd fun. man out they're, on that series, so don't listen to me oh okay Dude, uh, I used to just get drunk and buy shit on five dollar sales on Steam. Like I was like, yeah, I still do that. Uh, oh my god! For smaller titles, though, for like indies that get really, really high praise from the users, because that user base is hard yep. to impress. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, I have a couple of other like kind of random ones. Harry Potter is doing a Pokemon Go type of game next you year. Son of a bitch! You stole my joke. What? What was going to be your joke? <laughs> I was going to make that my fake number one. Oh, you son of. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm just intrigued to see what the fuck it ends up being. Oh, uh, I know, dude. I, I, I have dude, no you, clue how this is going to work. You obviously know that Niantic is like god of my life right now. Oh uh, yeah, the Harry Potter game. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I'm I'm 100 yeah. invested in just seeing how this correlates because yeah, I mean, because Pokemon makes sense. Like, oh, you go find things in your area, right? But like Harry this Potter's one's like, like what go are you, find what are you doing? spells and enchantments and things like. That. I think it's going to be more yeah. um, location based. Like Pokemon, you can do your own thing. You don't have to go somewhere to play Pokemon, but it has those elements. Like you can play it anywhere. Yeah. I, I think Harry Potter is going to be more like uh, more of a group thing. I don't think it's going to be like a, as much of an individual thing as Pokemon. I could be. see that being part of a house that's in your right. area or something like that. Or yeah. Uh, 
I'm just fascinated to see what the end product yeah, is. I mean, I, I don't know that I'll continue playing it or if it'll be I think good. you're going to get hooked. I just want to see what the fuck yeah, it is. I think you're going to get hooked. Uh, another one, really obscure game, Kentucky Route, Kentucky Route Zero is coming out with a console edition after they complete the entire thing. They've been releasing it in acts, like Act 1, 2, 3, 4. Act 5 comes out next year, um, allegedly, because they take forever to make these. And it's like a two, three hour act. And then it ends and it's kind of telltale ish, but it's more text based. You know, it's, it's not really, there's no voice acting. Um, it's fucking weird, man. It's like one of the weirdest narrative games ever. It's like twin peaks, the fucking narrative. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird as shit. It's cool though. Uh, and I'm excited for it to come to consoles and I'm excited for act five to see how the fuck that wraps up because it's, I have no idea where it's going to go. Every time it ends on a cliffhanger, I'm like, what the fuck is going on in this game with mammoths and shit like that? Statues of mammoths, I should say, but it's, it's just weird. There's like a highway. Kentucky Route Zero is like a highway that takes you to like another dimension and shit. It's weird. Uh, all right. Anyway, that's all my honorable mentions. Kyle, do you have any left? Uh, I have uh, Lost Fear 2, which I'm going to be playing on my uh, Switch because it's just a giant RPG that's going to be on the Switch. And uh, I already said State mm-hmm. of Decay 2, so that's it for me. Jid? Uh, you guys have covered everything oh, I have even conceived for this episode. JD's so like that's we, we, Death Stranding too. I'm like, God damn it, JD. <laughs> 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 um, just just because it's probably going to get pushed again the next year, I do want to mention Crackdown Three again. Yeah, Crackdown Three right, is never no, coming out. I think it's just an idea, not a game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just an idea. Even though the demo looks fantastic <laughs> and fun, not coming out. Sorry, <laughs> we're busy. Um, So I think, I mean, I'm assuming we're all synchronized. Synchronicity 2, like the police on number one. Yeah. I assume we are. Yeah, we are. We fucking better be. If we're not, JD, what's your number one? Fucking Harry Potter, Wizards United. Fucking A. (laughs) You're still going to go with a joke. Hey, hey. I said it's so resigned. No, it's fucking Red Dead Redemption 2. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, yeah, that's my number one. Uh, Yeah, mine is that as well. It's the cowboy game. It's got to be. I mean, come on. What a shocker. All right, see you guys later. Yeah, it was a good episode. Yeah. Yeah, bye. It was good at bye. <laughs> um, you know, I, 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 I told you before I had Kingdom Hearts ahead of this for the longest time, but then I remembered, yeah. I go, I still play Grand Theft Auto V today. That game came out five years ago. <laughs> yeah. Like today, yes. I'm thinking about jumping on and playing the new Doomsday Heist just because it looks cool and I want to play it, you know? Um, yeah. and it's, it's a story I beat earlier this year for like the third time, you know, it's just, uh, Dude, that story is so I think good. Grand Theft Auto five is one of the greatest games of all time, just period. And I don't even think that's a subjective statement. I think it's a pretty objective <laughs> statement to make. <laughs> yeah. That's just my opinion, I guess, but whatever. Uh, so when I'm thinking about Grand Theft Auto and everything they learned from that series and everything they've done, and I think about how good Red Dead Redemption was when compared to Grand Theft Auto four. They took everything they learned from the Grand Theft Auto 4 and implemented it into Red Dead Redemption. And um, um, and all of Grand Theft Auto 3, everything that they've learned, they put into Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption is going to be an amalgamation of every lesson that they've learned from open world games put mm-hmm. into one game. And I think it's probably going to be the greatest game ever. Imagine how huge it's going to be. I think it's going to be the greatest game ever, man. I, I honestly, massive. I think that like when yeah. we're talking about like things usurping the top 10 list like this is it this is the thing that's going to wreck people's top 10 list going forward i'm talking of all time because right. the first one's in my list personally like it's in my all-time list of up in yeah, the top five as somewhere. it should be yeah. so i mean it totally that's ho- totally what i'm expecting i'm expecting it to be the like the biggest maps they've ever designed um and for it to have completely different identifying terrains and even so we know more it's a epic prequel, heists you know what? We know it's a prequel now. So yeah, we know it's a prequel. We know it's about yeah. his uh, his gang of bandits and stuff. Uh, yeah, and we might not even see him. John might not even be that's a big a good character. Point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like he may come in from time to time or whatever. But like you know, it's 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 a different story told just like a stone throw away from the story that we already know. Right. So yeah. Yeah, and I'm curious to see what the multiplayer plays out like. I don't. Oh I my think they've God. been clear that it's not story multiplayer so the multiplayer is pretty much they're going hey you, you guys really enjoy gt online we're doing that for red yeah, dead redemption. i think that's what, you know where then, it's which really gt online started to run dev redemption the idea of jumping mm-hmm. into an open world and kind of occupying it and taking 
territories and stuff like that. Like it kind of started growing there and then it turned into GTA online and then Red Dead Redemption online is just going to be again, all the lessons learned that they from GTA online and everything. And I, I think we're going to get one of the greatest gaming packages of all time with this experience. Yeah. I mean, yeah, me too. And they're 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 scaling it back a little bit in terms of who you're playing. Uh, apparently, so far they've only said that you're playing a dude named Arthur Morgan, yeah. who's a member of the. the I'm, exci- gang. I'm excited. And that's one. And guy. everyone wanted you, you know, know like, well, oh, would mind playing <laughs> with seven guys? I'm like, it was hard enough for me to play with three. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, and I it liked was. it. I liked that mechanic, <laughs> but like, I didn't feel like I was switching enough. You know, so I'm like, now you want you're talking about seven people? Shut up. You know, <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just play as Trevor as much as I can. Yeah, exactly, because yeah, exactly. it made the most sense. Uh, Actually, I, I played as Franklin the most because he had the driving skill where you could, like, dude, slow. Dude, yes, his yeah, driving skill was, was perfect. a shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, I mean... Yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2, man. Holy it's, fuck. It's, um, you know, here's another game we should have been playing already, but uh, we knew. It's GT, it's, it's Whatever, Rockstar. It's fine. We knew that they was going to get pushed back, and um, uh, I'm glad we're getting it when we're getting it, you know? It's just, uh, it's going to be a fucking excellent game. I can't wait to hunt in that game. I can't wait for all the Easter eggs. Uh, oh, me too. You know, we're five years later, and they're still finding secrets in GTA Five. You know, like, there's still, like, we still don't know what the mystery behind Mount, Mount Chiliad is in Five. Like, that's still something that Rockstar's like, oh, you guys still shit, haven't figured really? it out. All the answers are in there. Like, keep digging. And I'm like, dude, this game's been out for five years. What? <laughs> It's like the James Gunn uh, Easter egg from Guardians One. It's yeah, there's still that, an Easter that egg no in one there. Found until all those years later, yeah. It's like full of shit. You're full of shit. Somebody's guessed it, James Gunn. You've missed it by this point. Nope, nobody's guessed Come it. On. Fucking full of yeah, shit. No one's guessed it. Uh, will you actually be getting this one, JD? Because yeah, the first one is just. I mean, it's it's only going to be on Xbox, right? Uh, no, no, it's going to oh, be on really? everything. It, I mean, it'll be on Xbox well, maybe not and PS4. PC. Not, not on but PC. PC will be, a, I assume, a yeah. later release, okay. typical to Rockstar's um, well, release. Well, Red Dead Redemption never came out on PC. Uh, so while it uh, Rockstar has a lot of success with re- releasing PC games, for whatever reason, yeah. the first game never came to PC. Well, no, I just mean now, like their current, the way that they're I doing think, things now. Well, I, and I think, I think they will put this game on PC. Yeah. I'm just saying, no, no promises. They haven't said anything yet, so. They uh, haven't. I'm totally expecting it, though. Sorry, I, I am too. Does, I need no, to no, get no. people's I'm, hopes I'm up. There, I'm there with you, but I'm just, I'm just giving you the history, you know, yeah. just so yeah. you know, at least expectations are in the right place. Yeah. Right. If it ever does, man, it's one that I would actually pay like day one full price for release. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, me yeah. too. I mean, I'd pay it just... twice, son. <laughs> I'm just kidding, no, I said that. <laughs> yeah, fucking love that. RDR one is still a game I go back to, uh, and I have it on the uh, Xbox One reverse compatibility. Yeah, I'm and, playing through um, it right now still fucking fun as shit and i still love like l- relearning everything again <laughs> like how to like wrangle horses and stuff like that uh it's just like the little things i'm relearning i'm like man this game is still still fucking holds up for like it being a 2010 game that's crazy god it's uh, so weird to me that's so ahead seven of its time years old <laughs> right that's man. insanity oh man there's some things in terms of like the way you move the camera that i don't know Sometimes it's a little finicky, but I mean, they mastered that by GTA five. I don't even notice that shit anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but whatever GTA Red Dead Redemption two doesn't matter. I'm going to play the shit out of it and it's probably going to end up in my top 10 all the time. Uh, so that's our episode for most anticipated games for 2018. What, what are you excited for everybody? What are, what are you? Uh, <laughs> what are you uh, I pitched. What are you? Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Just drop us a comment, like on you know Facebook and a Tournament of Champions podcast, yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, SoundCloud, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and I'm on Twitter at Jeff Witty W I D D Y, and uh, I didn't even introduce all of us. I'm, I'm Jeff. It was Kyle. It's over there. <clears throat> you can't see me pointing. And then there's JD. Yeah, I'm over yeah, here. I'm JD. Uh, yeah, that's JD. Yeah, hi. They're both JD. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, go find us and drop us a comment and shit. What are you guys hyped for? And are you as hyped for the soundboard as I am? Because I am loving this. Uh, here's my soundboard. How many times did sure you use it will. against our knowledge tonight? Oh, I did a couple. I was going to say, like, uh, I, 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 is Jeff going to use this to make us like undermine all of our opinions? So it's like uh, my number six. Yes, absolutely. My number six <laughs> is guarantee like he did uh, one. Nino Cooney. It's like <laughs> <laughs> like fart noises. <laughs> I guarantee I kept, he did that when I said Metal Gear Survive. Like uh, I, I bet I, I bet I uh, did money. Yeah. Oh, you didn't. Okay. Well, you, you I, I didn't. Just, I promise. Could have just won uh, some money. But I kept trying to play the. I'm sorry. I thought this was America thing, but it wasn't coming through loud enough. I don't know if it'll. It'll work. Uh, I'll have to Son rework of that a one. Bitch. 
Uh, also, that one will only come up whenever it's video games because uh, we don't really talk about foreign movies or whatever that much. <laughs> or whatever. I don't know. But the offended sound is great. I love Community. Shout out to that scene with uh, Abed. Yes. Anyway, uh, that's it for us. Kyle, you're at, you're at sub-culture.com and you stream on Twitch, subculture, yeah, right? We're, currently, we're doing Sims. Me and Bino, we made our characters and our house, our one-to-one house. Uh, that, I, that we actually live in together, and we end and start every stream with sitting on the couch that we're actually streaming from, like our That's characters. That's insane. Uh, it's very, very, very meta. Uh, <laughs> so pop in. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's probably the funnest I've had streaming anything, even though that game is complete garbage. So. <laughs> Man, that's uh, that is on Thon. That's on Thon. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, a little more information. Uh, my character's a stand-up comedian, and uh, Bino is a secret agent. Oh, nice. Uh, that makes so, sense. Uh, yeah, it's good that stuff. makes sense yeah. that you live together. <laughs> Doesn't it? I, know, I was like, yeah, I, uh, I, went a, I, I tried to go, like, as, like, this is realistic to me. I, I, you know, I could see myself in another universe, like, being a stand-up comedian, even though I wouldn't pursue that in this world because I have, you know, self-worth. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, but Bino, he was just like, yeah, I'm just going to be a secret agent. I'm like, oh, okay, so we're not going to do realistic. That's good. Thank you, asshole. Sticking uh, me, sticking me with this nine to five job. I love, I love that your character is a wants to deal with everybody. Yeah, hey everybody, and then he gets to go off and like save the world every day. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, all right, so, so uh, stay tuned for the next episode where we talk about most anticipated movies. I'm literally like reconstructing my list for that because I came up with fifty five fucking movies I really want to see. <laughs> what the? And it's cool. so I, I, hard to like narrow those down. It's so hard. You need to share that list because I know like fifteen movies that I'm aware of next year. So. Oh yeah, I'll gladly <laughs> gladly send that to you. And of course, because it's letterboxed, boxd.com. Uh, because it's letterboxed, you will be able to interact with the title and see what the fuck it is. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely send that to you. Uh, I'll send it to the group chat. But yeah, find us on Letterboxd, too. We post our movie lists on there um, at uh, EOC Pod. And I will likely someday start an EOC Pod Twitter. I don't know. It doesn't... I barely update my own with the podcast stuff. Definitely um, uh, check out my review of uh, Salo on Letterboxd. It's riveting. Yeah, it oh, is riveting. Oh, I will. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, it's great. <laughs> Fantastic. It's the only All movie right, I've so, reviewed uh, and ranked. <laughs> Stay tuned for all that fucking shit, and I'll see you guys later. I forgot to play the music, and here it comes. Here comes oh, the shit. music. There it is. Woo! 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 Yeah! Woo! Woo!